there's my uh, Chromebook catching up. How are you doing? I assume that that's okay. It sounds kind of okay. It does indeed sound kind of okay. And let's be honest, whoop, let's not play that back. And let's be honest, kind of okay is about the level to which I aspire in all things. Accept mediocrity and you will already be disappointed. But yes, here we go. Let's get my chat popped out. Sometime this year would be nice. There we go. And let's get into Subnautica. I understand I'm actually pretty far through now. So, uh, yeah. Almost gone for two, uh, game, no, two real days in game. But yeah, I might actually finish this up in a week or two. And then we'll be on to Horizon Zero Dawn. Another long game. It's all about the dead long games at the moment. So, I was just looking at finding myself some lithium so I could make the final depth module, I believe. Where can I find some good lithium? If I go to the scanner room alpha, is that going to be a good enough position, I wonder? One second, once again, my hilariously amateur setup has failed me, as I find that apparently piling a Chromebook on top of two pretty high stacks of books is not uh, apparently the most stable platform you can have. Who knew that? Especially when I'm forever putting my feet up on the sacks of books and so on and pushing them out of alignment. Who knew? But yeah, let's hope I can find some lithium around here. I've been trying to think of fish puns for today, but I've not really got anything. If you come up with any, could you let me know? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good Yeah, I, I, I was hoping I would be able to come up with a quick fish-related pun to follow that one up, but I've got to give you credit, that was, I like that one, that was good. How are you doing? I don't remember a massive thing up, oh is that, I wonder if that is the uh, island where I could find some bulbo trees. Also, definite lack of lithium here. I need some lithium. Where can I get some lithium from? Also, data box. Does it if I search for data box, does it just search for any data box or is it only the ones I haven't already opened? But yeah, okay. So let's let's try heading off for the mountain island and pick up a bulbo tree while I'm here. And we can try and find some lithium on the way back. It will also show once you've opened. Well, that's not entirely useful. But it's fair enough, I guess. You can find lithium in the caves on the island. So I'm currently... This is not the, the island I'm going to, though, is it? This is the uh, mountain I'm going to. Which is fine. 
All I'm going to do with this grab some Bulbo seeds and then leave. Uh, I can see a tree over there. So let's head in that direction. Oh, is this the mountain island the one that's also got the uh, the gun attached to it? I kind of lost track. Yeah, this looks like the beach where I parked up to see the uh, whatever it was called, the sunburst, sunbeam, something like that, being uh, shot out of the sky. Mountain Island has a quarantine enrichment tree. Okay, cool. I can only take one, but you know what? <gasps> Wait, what on earth was that? Frickin' crabs! Frickin' crabs! But yeah, okay, I only need one Bulbo. How much lithium do I need, though? Have I already kind of scuppered myself? Or can I tell you what I could do? I could just drink some water and eat some food. But how much do I need for this? Oh, get off it. That is really irritating. Uh, yeah, I could do that as well, couldn't I? That would actually be an intelligent option. Um, okay, so best way of finding the island would be to look through here, I guess. It's got to be this one, right? Hang on, hang on. You can give the warpers a stab and they go away. It's this, hang on, this, this island, the one you were just on. Oh, I see! Right, 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 right. That's cool. That's cool. Are there cave entrances, like, under the water here as well? I guess I don't really remember any uh, underwater stuff, but... I haven't really thoroughly explored either. There is one underwater cave entrance. That's cool. So let me ditch that, and let's be honest, all this stuff that I don't really want to lose, go away, you. Has he gone, or is he fully dead? Whoa, snap, I'm almost dead as well myself. But yeah, is is he, like, properly dead? Because he's, he's pretty uh, low on health if he's properly dead. But I'll take it. Not going anywhere near you. Okay, this I guess this is where the uh, supposed underwater cave would come out. What do we have in here, I wonder? I wonder if it's actually worth, like, shoving a scanner room? Uh, shoving a scanner room somewhere around here? So that I could, uh, easily slo locate any of these things that I need to pick up at some point in the future? I'm letting myself get dragged way off course. And I'm not seeing any lithium around here as well, it has to be said. Fadoos! Subnatuika time! It is indeed Subnatuika time. How you doing? 
Don't know if there's lizzie underwater. That's cool. I just fancied a little bit of an explore, to be honest. I was quite open to the idea that uh, that I wasn't going to find any uh, lithium there. I just wanted to uh, have a little bit of a play around. And every time I see a rock like that, I just keep assuming that keep assuming that it's going to. Uh, Every time it's going to be breakable with some tool or other, possibly with the prawn suit. Also, yeah, but how are you doing, Vaduz? How are you? How was your stream yesterday? Where am I going? Not the right way is the answer I'm going to give. I'm just going to keep wandering around until I work out what on earth I'm supposed to be doing it. Where was... I swear, I just found the freaking caves. They weren't hard to find. There we go. Around the back of the QP up... Okay. This way will work as well, though, right? But yeah, I wonder... I do find myself wondering, should I... That'll do for lithium. Oh, right, okay, this is not the actual... Maybe it is the entrance to the proper caves. No, it's not. I don't know. Um, I find myself wondering if perhaps a scanner room would be useful here. But I will consider that at a later point. Because right now, I'm more interested in depth modules. One more question I had in mind, for the record. Yeah. Actually, I genuinely think this doesn't loop back around to the proper cave at all, does it? I'm actually going to have to go around to the other place. Anyway. One other thing I've been wondering about is... I, re I don't remember seeing a part 3 to the uh, prawn suit depth module all the the, the, the sea moth and the um, other one um, the something like that both have the three level depth modules but this only seems to have two parts is that because is that because they changed it at a previous point in the game? Fair enough, fair enough. I think I just automatically assume some kind of level of consistency. But that's fair enough. Okay. I know I did strip some of the lithium out of here already, so I hope that there's still some left. See what starts at 200, then upgrades to 300, 500, 900. Yeah, I think I've done all of them so far. But I... And I think I've done all the Cyclops ones as well. Ah, nice. Get out of it. But yeah, I was just kind of surprised that the Prawn suit only seemed to have 200. That's uh, sorry, two of them. How many do I need? Was it two or was it three? I wonder if I should spend all this extra time collecting these or if I should just take what I've got and run. I guess extra lithium never hurts. At least you light up at night so I can frickin' seed you to kill you. I think the frickin' crabs are gone for the time being. So let me just take a quick peek in here. 
I'm pretty sure it was the prawn suit module I was building. I only need two of them. Kill all the walking eyeballs. Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much the plan. But yeah, how you been doing, Ferro? Oh, uh, not Ferro. Fadoos. Fadoos. They both start with F E R. I have a really weird thing. I don't really understand it. But I have a really weird thing where my brain just thinks in like word letter patterns. It's really, really odd sometimes. But like Oh, it's night time again. Or is it just a or is it just a uh eclipse? No, I think it's actual night time. But yeah, for some reason my brain like just reads words as like the number of letters they are and where certain letters in them are. So I get really thrown sometimes by like words that look kind of similar and have similar structures. Duck doesn't care how I'm... Sorry, Fero, did I not ha ask you how you were doing? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Fero, I'm sorry. How are you doing? I didn't mean to leave you alone. Can I make the water from here? This would be a spectacular jump if I pulled it off. You gotta believe. Uh, nope, not not if I just go down the wall like that. That that ain't gonna work. But I guess it uh, avoided massive fall damage. So uh, hey, it's all good. I was close to the water. Doing fine. Cool. Nice. I think I may have eliminated most of the lithium from here anyway. Actually, just quickly. What does it take to build a scanner room? Just in case I want to come back here and plop one down. Frickin... Oh, ha have I not even scanned you before? That's interesting. How come you take bizarrely long to scan? Uh, I should probably should probably take some healing quickly. I've never never actually seen them hit before. I just assumed that the only thing that they did was uh, warp you. Okay, maybe maybe I'll take a look at the scanner room back at base. Because let's be honest. Let's be honest, I don't really need to, uh... I, I'm not in a position to build one right now anyway. They're complicated life forms. I have... It's true, actually. I have seen what's in one. I've seen one slightly more on display than I would have uh, been, uh... The, you know, I would have liked to have seen. But I guess it was uh, an interesting art piece. God, this game really is like pitch black at night time. Build a fabricator in your cyclops. Okie dokie. Seems a sensible idea. In fairness, I'm not entirely sure why I haven't done it already. Is it about to become daytime? I feel like it's slightly getting brighter. Let's not just ram into the Cyclops. Okay. Let's get this module built. Get this module built and then worry about other stuff. Do 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 do. Where is it gone? I'm gonna spend ages just looking straight past them again. Here it is. So I need to pick up three kyanite, and then I can build on the modification station. There's the three kyanite. Whoop! I did not mean to pick that module up. Let me dump. 
two gold back in there. I'll pick this up. What was it that I wanted the Bulbo tree for? Was it, was it something I was going to plant in my personal quarters? Or was it something I was going to uh, use for something else? I think I was just going to put it in the personal quarters, wasn't I? Food. Okay. I think, I think I'll put one in the personal quarters and then I can expand from there. Oh, that's right. You did talk about putting a food source in the Cyclops, didn't you? Okay, granted, granted. Let me grab these back now. And... Load up the module. Where's it got? There it is, there it is. There's still two spaces for modules in here that I haven't built yet as well. You have about two, 12 food and 12 water per piece. You can get eight pieces from a plant. That's not bad, actually. So basically what you want is to have more than one at a time. So that if you do happen to accidentally deplete one, you can just pick the uh, pick one up from the other one. Okay, so grab the makey makey tool. There it is. There it is. What is involved in constructing a fabricator? Titanium gold and table coral sample. I can do that right now. How much titanium do I have in my inventory? Not very much. Let me grab one table coral. Let me grab... Fill the rest of it up with titanium. Actually, while I'm here... I really need to go through and order these again at some point. I might... Uh, I might come back off Lion again at some point and like do another round of working on the base and so on. What did I have another Plastia Lingot for? I've already made... I've already made all of the uh, upgrade modules, haven't I? Oh yeah, sorry, I was going to grab more. More titanium. Once again, I find myself wishing that... Uh, I had got even, you know, I, I'd gone and picked up more titanium. You can never have enough titanium. Except when your hold is full of titanium. Then you've got too much titanium and you can never have it. too uh, little titanium. You know what I mean. You've got too... Yeah. I, uh, words are coming out. All systems online. I am so good at just, like, stuttering. Today more than usual, though. Interesting. Can I climb up through? Can I try that again? Oh, so this is like all invisible walled. It won't let me go in here at all without the uh, sea moth. Interesting. Hang on, did I get rid of the gold? I am not a smart man. So, Pharaoh, how long in uh, total did your run end up taking? Did you check? Even though the docking doors are open, the clipping acts... yeah. Was there... I think there was some gold in here. Let's not take it from the ones that are actually properly sorted. And then, also while I'm here, I might as well fill that last space with a fully charged power cell. In fact... Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's take this in a logical order. 27 hours, not bad, not bad. A lot quicker than I've been uh, spending on this. 
think I'm on uh, one day 17 hours or something like that. So about 14 hours more than you. Let's get me a nice chic plant plot here, I think. I might actually nick your idea. I love the way that you uh, you put the aquarium across there. I thought that worked really well. So uh, I might have to uh, nick that idea at some point. But for now, I'll leave that in there. I will plant stuff in the cyclops once that's grown. Yeah, it, it worked really well. The thing is, I'll have to move the chair, because I, I deliberately put the chair back from the uh, the desk, because that was the only place I could put it where I could actually sit in the chair. Even though, let's be honest, I never intend on uh, sitting in the chair. It just seemed like a logical thing. Okay. Let's build a fabricator, like, here. This frames it nicely, I think. There. Now I can uh, fabricate stuff. I might fill this side up with more storage at some point, or something like that, but um, not immediately. What I will do is go upstairs... And let's put, let's use this. This is a nice little anti-chamber area. So let's put a couple of plant pots in here. Another chair annoyance. The swivel chair spins 360, doesn't. <laughs> is, that, is there one actually called that? Because, yeah, I, that would totally wind me up. I love spinning in office chairs. Non Visco Girl. Heidi Ho there. Heidi Ho to you. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Check the description for the swivel chair. I will do that right now. I'm not too bad, thank you. How has your weekend been? You been up to much or have you been taking it easy? Where is it? Swivel chair. Yeah, you're right. I can. I. I've got to be honest. I thought that the description was going to be some long thing about like engineered for elegance and the peaks of comfort. This swivel chair has been designed with full 360 degree turning. So, uh, but yeah, if it just says turns 360 degrees, then that's kind of a failure of advertising. I've got to be honest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to rage quit now. I can't go on. I need to buy some... Buy? I need to build some more decoys as well. You're on vacation. Nice. Vacation from uh, from school, from work, from life in general. I don't have any more, so I'll have to build them. Remind me what is involved in making a creature decoy. That's not too bad. I only need a wiring kit, which is silver. From everything. That's fair enough. Headed home now. Where is it that you uh, went on vacay? To the day I die, I will keep complaining about the quick slots in this game. They just don't work properly. They're just not useful. One second. Stream of Cold is back. <coughs> oh. Freaking Stream of Hay Fever or whatever it is. How long have I been playing Subnautica? This is my first playthrough. And I think... Let me just save quickly and... Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to quit. I think I found I was on... One day, 17 hours, or something like that. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. So, yeah, something around the 40-hour mark. I'm not exactly uh, driving through at a fast pace in this game. 
Should I take it that you know this game quite well? South Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, some big places there. Yeah, some very big places there. Has it just been a like a driving holiday? I know that uh, the kind of the cross state road trip. Oh snap! Another one, Marcusu. Is that how you would say your name, Marcusu? I think you finished in 55 hours. Nice. I would probably finish in about 155 hours if I didn't have people pointing me in the right direction, which I am very grateful for. Have I? I've already depleted all my titanium. What was I looking here for? I'm so scatterbrained. I am just like the world's worst person at actually concentrating on something. Your longest world is like over three or four days. Nice. Yeah, in fairness, in fairness, this is a really good good game for just like messing around. Just like billion, billion, blah, 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 blah. Ba still can't say it. Base building. For the life of me, I was trying to say, say build basing. And just like enjoying the world. I could re definitely see just like chillaxing in this game. It's more like literally saying LW. Oh, it's an, it's an L! Sorry, I thought that was an I. Apologies. Marcus LW. Can I just call you Marcus? I like that you categorize stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, it works, doesn't it? It's kind of overlapped. Because I ran out of space and stuff, and now, like, these lockers do have stuff in them. And I've kind of lost the plot slightly. But uh, it worked for a while. It mostly keeps me on track. Uh, yeah, what on earth was I trying to do? I was building stuff in... Oh, quick tree decoys. Creature decoys, I remember now. I was coming here for some silver. You can never have enough silver. Okay, turn that into one of that. And then I think the decoys can just be built on here. Yeah. Never go to the dunes area unless you want to be very scared a lot. It's full of reapers. Which one of the... Remind me which one the reapers are. Is the reaper the one around the back of the aurora? I still haven't got my head around the names of a lot of the creatures in this game. Man, would you be quiet? You are literally echoing around my base. And you are literally almost grinding against my submarine again. The one that likes to give face hugs. Ah, uh, yes. The big scary dudes with a giant arm thing on its face. Yup, I remember now. Equip, equip. One into storage. Uh, nope, that's not storage, that's a fabricator. Man, I am... Um, not feeling smart today. Let me burn some of the extra titanium I've got with a couple more wall lockers in here, I think. Because I'm... I reckon I'm gonna need all this storage space soon. Good. Perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. I ended up building my base near the mountain island the last time. I got the sound of a reaper just constantly in the background. In fairness, I've got to admit, it's not it's not a un, you know a bad sound to uh, wake up to in the well, morning. The oh, cool! I've bugged it out again. I'm swimming around my base. Nice. It's kind of like you know a lot of people go for uh, you know go whale watching, and I'm sure they would love to have that kind of sound. So yeah, in fairness, it's not a bad place, but uh, I came here to pick up these last power cells, which should be charged, should be long charged, and to grab... Do I even have one more titanium? How about... Okay, let me be a bit cheap. I'm going to grab a load of quartz. I'm going to grab a load of quartz. I'm going to make some glass with it. This is how my brain works. Rather than just going to buy more metal salvage. 
what's the lowest I've gotten? Not particularly far. In the last stream, I got to the lava zone. Sorry, the, what was it called? The inert lava zone? The in... something lava zone? Um, yeah, so that was probably about 1500 meters or something like that. Maybe 1400? I think I think about 1400 meters. Okay, so now if I pull this, I can deconstruct this compartment. Then I can use the glass I've just made to build this. So now it's all linked up again with nice glass and everything. And I can deconstruct this passage as well, I think. If I find the right angle. Ah, screw it. I'll just do it from outside. Oh yeah, no, my game is totally glitched. What we've found is that the PlayStation 5 version has a few errors in it. But I find them amusing, so uh, I just stick with them. So every, I mean, heck, every time I load the game, uh, I start in my base. I uh, start swimming in my base. It's a very, very repeatable glitch. Yeah, the, I mean, I love the glitches as well. I, 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 the reason, sorry, the, the, not the reason I love them, but I, um, I love bugs and stuff enough that uh, basically I made one of my uh, emotes as this. Just so I could uh, enjoy the odd uh, bug in a game. Exactly, Pharaoh. Exactly. Uh, I'll stick one more in. I know I've not. I know I've got an odd number of. I've got an odd number of titanium right now. So yeah, one more is all I could do. Oh, a, f a day ago and below zero, I managed to glitch myself outside the base while being inside. So I fell down and died. Nice. I've heard that this game has got some interesting ones. Apparently there's a, a far more common bug where it's the complete opposite of the one I get. So rather than being in air but swimming, you can be in the water and just walking along the ground. And I also know uh, people have been telling me about bugs where you can like catapult yourself out of the water and so on. Sadly they don't seem to work in the PlayStation version. I'm very disappointed because I love bugs that like threw you across the map. But yeah, no, I've only seen a handful of bugs. I've heard about a lot more. I did try. I did deliberately try to replicate some as well. But oh well. Such is life. So... Let me just go and check on the progress of the Bulbo tree. Because I would like to... I would like to get some Bulbo trees growing in the Cyclops. And... No, I haven't done it this time. I'm actually properly walking. How does Below Zero rate in terms of longevity? I know people have talked about, like whether they like it and so on as much but how does it rate in terms of like oh it's only halfway okay how does it rate in terms of uh, how long it takes to play through is it about the same length like half of long also while I'm in here what else can I put in here to uh, properly uh, pimp out this place I need some more I really need some more freaking titanium don't I I guess I could go and make some titanium. There's a bench. Where could I put a bench in here? I could. I guess I could put like a bench across here and make like a seating area or something. What would be really cool is... Oh, I was going to make some picture frames, wasn't I? What would be really cool is if I could find something that looked a bit like a TV. Actually, how big is this? I could. I could actually kind of do that, couldn't I? I could put this up on a wall and like make it look a bit like a TV, have a sofa in front of it. I need to work out what I'm doing with this wall of junk. I guess, where would I move? 
I guess I could move. I, I, hang on, I'll deconstruct this. This is going to give me some titanium back anyway. Then I'll deconstruct the coffee machine and move it the other side. So coffee machine comes over here. Shush you. If you get a floating air pump and place it in the water then climb on top of it. Yes, that's the exact thing I tried to do. Sadly, it doesn't work in the PlayStation version. I was very disappointed to find that out. But, uh, such is life. Such is life. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this stuff. Deconstruct this. Oh, this bench is a lot more smaller than I thought it was. Is there, like, a proper bench that I can... Oh, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why is it very white, though? Why do I feel like this isn't right at all? I mean, can I actually place it down? Does that work? Yeah, it does, actually. Interesting. You saw you could do it with the floater. Oh, yeah, I think... I think that this game is just built differently. Okie dokie. It may help to remember that problems exist only where you choose to see them. Nope, nope, it's reminding me that problems exist wherever there's a leviathan. Okay, I can sit on both sides of that bench, that's cool. So now if I run and grab some copper, Travelling across land takes up quite some time early story making Yeah, so that's one of the main things I've been surprised about when I've seen little bits of Below Zero. And I have been trying to limit how much I've seen of it. But uh I've been quite surprised by the fact that uh Below Zero seems to have a lot of land. It doesn't quite seem right for a subnautica game. You advance far enough to unlock more alien technology, including the ability to build a bench from the very surface of the sun. Oh, I see. Yeah, the what? Yeah, yeah. I really do like your idea, Pharaoh. Though, with using the uh, general purpose room things as like a central hub of the base, I kind of regret that I didn't do that. I gen. I, I'm thinking about maybe stealing that idea as well. If I build the picture frame here, now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take a picture of the base with the sub. How... Nope, not the locker. How bad... Oh yeah, sorry. If you guys want to see another bug, there's a great bug as well in this game where uh, if I stand right on the edge of uh, the distance to open a locker and I put something in my hand, then the game will just completely uh, weird out and it will try and point things at my head. It's even better with the uh, if I use the sea glide. Let me, let me put the sea glide in my hand. It just goes completely crazy with the sea glide. Anyway, yeah, anyway. Um, I was going to move this kind of closer to the base, maybe like on top of it if I can get away with it. Engine powering up. Engine powering up. Better, better take a view from the cameras to make sure I'm not about to smack the bottom of the base. Top of the base. And then if I kind of drop out here. I 
I reckon I should be able to get a fairly decent base photo from here. Where do I want to take it from? Yeah, about that'll do. What is it, R3? I used to take so many photos, so many screenshots, by complete mistake. Now I don't seem to do it at all for some reason. If you swing your knife and pull out your scanner and scan something, it starts like swinging the scanner. Nice. I've seen a few other weird things. There's another one here as well where I'm holding the knife out. If, you, if I put it against a dark background. I'm holding the knife out and even though I'm in the air, it's still bubbling. There's a few weird graphics glitches we've seen recently. Uh, oh, sorry, it was the other side, wasn't it? It was the other side, because I was going to load up the picture and have it be like a screensaver on the, uh, or something like a nature program. Has that set it? Yeah, there we are. I mean, I could do with a slightly darker picture against the dark background. But, uh, eh, it's fine. It works. TV slash art gallery viewing station. You're going to love what happens with one of the phase gates later on. What, is it like a... you mean it's a bug? Let me move that a bit closer, I think. Anyway. Enough messing around in here for an hour. Actually, before, not quite enough messing around. Can I place this on a window? No, I can't. Fair enough. Another animation glitch. Nice. Is it in the PlayStation version, though, or will I have to go looking for it on YouTube? But yeah, okay, so... Is there anything else I want to create right now? Or do I just want to get on with it? Uh, let me just double check, to best to be 100% sure, because it would be very embarrassing if I found that I hadn't got the level 3 depth upgrade for this. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Given how much time I've been spending preparing all this. That, no, that is the depth module Mark III. So, uh, why on earth did I place more uh, plasteel and ruby and stuff in my inventory? I must have been planning on making something with it. I must have been planning on making something with it. I guess I could just use it on this. I can do that. I can do that. I can get three nickel. Two aerogel. I can make two aerogel. Aerogel is just the floaters and ruby, isn't it? I think aerogel is floaters and ruby, which I have right now anyway. Well, it's, no, sorry, the jo uh, gel sack. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. So let me grab a couple of pieces. Starting over here. Let me... Well, actually, f I can start... Planting up more of this stuff. So I can eventually get a full tank of it. Anyway. Gel sack. I've got to plug that gap. Uh, it's annoying me. Okay. And I need to grow, grab a bit more silver ore. While I'm here, I can drop off one of the ruby. So I don't need all of it. 
sure I had some extra diamond. Did I use it already? And I guess I can drop... Whoop! No, not the stasis rifle. Not the stasis rifle. I can drop these things back in junk because, let's be honest, they kind of are. Uh, I'll go in biological and I'll drop off the extra these things. Was it two aerogel I needed? I think it... The <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not junk. I acknowledge my mistake. It's not junk. In fairness, I quite like it as well. Uh, yes, it's two aerogel, so I actually needed a second one of those things. <laughs> Have you worked out what you're going to suggest yet? If you want... I know we were kind of talking about the stuff I was looking at before. So yeah, there was something I was going to say to you, and I completely forgot up until that reminded me. So, one consideration to bear in mind is that right now I'm limited in my setup. I don't have a good computer desk, by which I mean I've got an old desk from when I was like a teenager, and bear in mind I'm in my like mid thirties now. Uh, Back in the day when people just didn't have two monitors on on computers, back you know, back in the day when flat screens weren't even a thing, everyone had those big fat CRT monitors. So I've got a desk which just is not suited for multiple monitors. Uh, and so, basically, I have no easy way of streaming a PC game right now without doing it all on one screen, which would be very awkward for me. Basically, you guys would have to be able to see every time I went on slobs and so on. So, right now, I'm kind of limited mainly to PlayStation games. So that's another thing to bear in mind, because I don't believe Hollow Knight is available for PlayStation. I know you were talking about Hollow Knight before. Uh, but yeah, okay, what was I doing? I was... have I got... okay, I've got a second thing, so let's start building. Let's get some two aerogel. Then let's make a wiring kit. And then what else was involved? I just need to pick up three nickel ore. Okay, nice. Was it in rare? Did I put these in rare? No, I didn't. I must have put them down here in the overflow storage or something. Don't tell me I've used up all my nickel ore already. Oh, don't tell me I've used all the nickel ore. God dingus. Nothing ever works out for me. Let me put this in the storage for all the stuff that I've already done. Drop the titanium back in there. I guess I'll drop the glass in there since it's a created material. Okay, I need more nickel. Go back and check the bottom of the rare cabinet. Oh, snap! Yeah, it, thank you. In my head, I, it just those two just looked the same because they were very similar colour. I just didn't register. Yeah, thank you. Okay, wiring kit. Plasteel got. Do I want another... Mm, no, I'm good. Uh, and two aerogel. So that means... Oh, it's it's all the way back on the... Uh, thing. I've got to hurry if I want to see this in daylight. Because it looks like the sun is setting. Sadly, this means that my diving board is... Uh, is no longer just going to be uh, like a little swimming pool area. Actually, what am I doing? It's not there that I go, is it? I guess I might as well pull, cool the elevator down. 
it's not going to be too long before I uh, inevitably want to uh, take the prawn suit back up to the top of the uh, diving board again. Okay, boosters, yeah, construct. Okay, it's fairly glowy. That's really quite large. I thought this was going to be like a third of the way up that diving board or something. I guess it's not quite as tall as the diving board. But yeah, that's still fairly large. That is still fairly large. And we are a little bit closer again to uh, having a rocket. <gasps> Don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I just did. Nice. So what does the next part involve? Another plasti pastel ingot. Crystalline sulfur. I think I might even be able to do that. Kyanite, I can do that. An ion power cell. Now that I don't know anything about. Has it added ion power cell in here now that I've discovered a need for it? No, it hasn't. So I would need to... I'm going to need to do something to get the ability to build uh, ion power cells. I had to build two tables when I got my first PC since I already have a console. I've been looking at these nice setups lately where they use two drawers and one table plate and screw it together. Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't help as well that I've recently bought a flat, but I'm um, spending a lot of time back with my family still, mainly because my flat is uh, a way away and I live there on my own and I'm not the kind of person who does well with literally seeing no one for weeks on end. So um, so I do my streaming still for my parents place and yeah I've got quite a nice setup I would have loads of places to do it in the flat but it's just not convenient to do so. At some, hey I'm swimming in my base again. At some point I will think long and hard about it and I may start. Uh, I, I yeah. At some point, I will start streaming from my own flat. But at the moment, this is just easier. If you're non Visco, what's the easiest way to th thing to call you? By the way, can I call you Visco? Uh, Visco. If you're referring to uh, telling me about uh, how to get the ion battery cells, while I have got the. Um, well, I have got the the back seating allowed thing tag on. Just be aware that uh, my general rule on it is um, I'm all for people saying like, oh, the easiest way of getting here is to do this. Oh, there's a better way of killing that person. It's to do this. But just kind of watch out for... I, I, basically, my rule is like, don't tell me about stuff I haven't come across yet. So obviously I now know that there is an ion power cell, but let me find out. Just, um, yeah, whatever, yeah, it's cool, that's fair enough. But yeah, let's just, uh, wait, basically, it's cool, wait for me to work out where it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being one of the facilities I'm going to soon. So I'm fairly confident that I'm going to find it soon anyway. There haven't been many points in this game where I've, like, been completely unable to do something with something. But thank you for the offer anyway. I appreciate the offer. What do we think? Are we about ready to try and find this? Uh, what was the next place I needed to find? Let me let me now spend ages trying to find the... Uh, what is all this stuff? Oh, did I never read this... Uh, stuff for my last trip down to the lava zone. Anyway, that's fair enough. Let me just clear them out because seeing all the uh, marks telling me to read stuff bugs me. Lava, lava. What's the last one? Ghostweed. 
Okay, and there was something... Where was it? Data downloads? It's not there. I can never remember where this is. But there's something that tells me where the uh, places I need to go to are. Hey, Lisa, welcome back. How is Survival Under the Sea going today? It's going alright. We've basically just been... Uh, Messing around with my base, doing very, very little to be any use. Oh no, actually, I guess that's not entirely true. Uh, I've just added a, uh, a kind of a root. A, bleh, why can I not talk today? A rocket booster pack to my uh, rocket over there. So uh, the rocket is a little bit closer to blasting off. Clues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me. Why have I got stuff in here as well? I thought I'd gone through all of these already, to be honest. I just want to get it so that it's not constantly uh, telling me I have 11 things to read. I'm sure I've listened to all of this stuff, which is why I'm not listening to it now. There we go, okay, nice. Clues, where was it? Clues, something, something. Advanced theories? No. Data downloads... There it is. Oi, I'm missing it. Okay. Oh, it's the thermal power facility I need to find, isn't it? Inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. So, I mean, we've found the lava area, but I'm guessing it's not that. That reminds me, make sure you've got two purple tablets. Thank you. Where is it? I think I put them in gear. I have two purple tablets left. Although I can make them, can't I? I think I can make them now. Not quite sure how that works. You just find a tablet and then instantly know how to create it. Even though it's an alien technology used for uh, opening their doors. Let me dump the tablets in here. But yeah, how are you doing, Lisa? Good to see you back. And... It really doesn't like disembarking the Cyclops. But yeah, okay. I th I'm thinking that... Possibly... This is the next thing to do then. I wonder if the simplest thing is to do what I did last time. I wonder if the simplest thing is to take the uh, sea moth out, find it, and plant a beacon. In which case, I need another beacon. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind hints in that direction. Seaboth isn't rated for that depth. Okay. Um. So I'm going to have to... Is the Seamoth not? Oh no, it only goes to 900 meters, doesn't it? I'm going to take a beacon anyway. Which means I need to remember how to make a beacon. How you doing, by the way, Canadian? Good to see you again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. My mind is not good. I almost forgot what I was even trying to find there. Literally two seconds after I started searching for it. It's going to be, what, deployables? Why can I never find anything? It's got to be in this section here, surely. No, it's this is tools. Here, here we are. One copper ore, one titanium. I think I can stretch that. Knife versus... Uh, fair enough, Pharaoh. Fair enough. Give me a second to uh, get some copper ore and so... Tum, so blah, blah, blah. Why can I not talk? What is it with me today that means I can't form words? Let me just build a beacon. And then let me avoid loss by... I'll put everything I have in... Everything I have that I don't want to lose. Except for the knife, I guess. In here. 
you say that you can't lose tools, right? So I'll take the sea glide as well, otherwise it will take me forever. Oh, you'd see, rather see a prawn fight. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, hang on. Sorry, so, so, so can I just check here? Can I just check? Are you... I, I, can I... I was just going to go after the uh, the one around the back of the ship in that direction somewhere. Are you asking me to specifically uh, go after the Leviathan on the route to the next place? Also, Noah. Hello, really playing Subnautica. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but Below Zero is better. I've... You made... JS up. It stands for just... Oh, fair enough. I, surprisingly, most people I speak to say that Below Zero is not as good as the original, so... In an interesting viewpoint. I can't comment myself, though, as I have only played this one. Please go after the Sea Dragon in the Lava Zone. Okie dokie, then. Uh, I might as well grab all this stuff back then, I suppose. At least it'll clear it out so I don't have to worry about it anymore. You said you wanted me to wear prawn suit it, right? So I'm thinking that the first thing I'll want to do is come on the prawn suit, not that side. Come on the prawn suit and what on earth are you doing, game? God dingus, what on earth is it with this game just not doing what I want to do ever? Thank you. There we go. So if I take off the drilling arm, so I'll be able to punch it instead. I'm thinking that that's the that's the best option here. I'll unequip this and put it into storage so I don't lose it. Oh, I've got another piece of uranium in the in, in, in the night. I forgot about that. Oh, I suppose I might as well drop that off before I completely forget about it. Really, well, you can pin stuff in below zero. So it shows what you need to do to make the item. That is actually quite useful. In fairness, I've seen a few interesting things from what little I've seen of Below Zero. I've seen a few interesting looking things. Where did I dump the uranium in the, in the, in the night? I guess in here. There. Okay, cool. I thought I read that the drill arm does no damage for punching. But if it does do damage, then I'll use the drill arm. There isn't a fight the sea dragon with a robot punching suit redemption. Sure, there's the sea monkey that takes the item you're holding. Hang on, is that in below zero? Because that sounds really annoying. Like, really annoying. You'll need the grapple arm. Best strategy is to approach it from above. Grapple on its back and use your jump jets to help stay on its back. Okay. The drill arm does do damage. Okay, so is it better to just use the drill arm? Is the, uh... Really? Really, game? Fine, I'll just do it from swimming. This way I can't miss things as easily. So, uh, is this thing going to be able to attack me back? I'm wondering. Also, can I get the prawn suit in here without damaging my base? Or the freaking... Uh, ooh, that was close. Or without damaging the ship as well. That would be the important thing. I definitely heard a metallic grinding there. Let me just go and double check I haven't, like, put a hole in the ship. Uh, looks okay. Looks okay. It breathes fire. Oh, sorry, it's that thing that I'm going to go and take on. Right. Okay. I thought, I, th I was just thinking of the little thing that we have to deal with first. Okay, well, at least on the plus side, on the plus side, if we do this, then it'll be gone. Hang on, just let me check something very quickly. I still have two power cells. Let me put them in storage. Okay. Power cells gone, right. Okay. 
Sea Dragon, here we come, I guess. Winnable if you keep above it and retreat to repair it long ahead. How long is this going to take me, for the record? Are we talking about like a... 10 minute fight here, or just like a 2 or 3? Also, should I be using the stasis gun like I was for the other stuff? Or is the stasis gun just not worth it here? In the cockpit, to left there is a map of the Cyclops. Yes, okay, yeah. Oh, it actually shows you where damage is. Oh, that's cool. I figured it only would... Uh, I, I knew it had a health bar, but I didn't realise it actually showed you the location of damage. <laughs> it, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. I do tend to panic when I think that I'm about to crash the Cyclops. It doesn't help, in fairness, in fairness, Pharaoh, I wouldn't treat it quite like a new car if it weren't for the fact that the very first time I tried to take it out, I almost lost it. If I'd had one successful run first, I probably would have been like, yeah, this is fine. Whoops, that's not the way I meant to go. But because I basically screwed up immediately, it made me paranoid about my own inability. It would take precisely 100 punches or 173 seconds of continuous damage from the drill arm. So I just basically just hold down X and drill the thing then. There's two things, probably more than two, but there's two things I love about Good Below Zero. Go on, as long as they're not spoilerific, please do tell. Should be safe. I shouldn't hit anything there. Yeah, while also holding the grapple. So presumably the grapple isn't going to last forever then, or else you wouldn't be telling me to, like, back up and heal up and so on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, highlight the message. I thought you'd, uh, I thought we'd have been redeeming other stuff. Let me get past these things and then I'll work out where on earth the entrance of the underground river is. Freaking hate those things. At least I think that my ship should repair that damage. It seems to be very slowly regaining the hull. Okay, cool. In Below Zero, there's glow whales that you can pet. That's cool and a sea truck and you can put rooms on the sea truck uh, so the, the sea truck is a little tiny whoa 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 the sea truck is a little bit uh, in the realms of uh, giving stuff away about the game but I don't mind people whoops that's not what I meant to do that's that's too much energy for me that's what I meant to do the sonar meant to do uh, yeah, so so I don't mind people telling me about like the cool like creatures that are in the game, as long as they're not like end game bosses. But uh, just watch it slightly with the uh, vehicles and so on. It's cool though. It's cool. Let's be honest. Spoilers happen. It's no problem. I rotate? This is not the way I want to rotate. Can I actually get this right for once? That would be nice. Because I usually don't get this right. I usually get this very wrong. Yep, that's a crunk. One day I'll learn to fly to pilot this thing. How many... Ch it is using a little bit of the power. P 
power cells are screaming right now. <laughs> yeah, they kind of are. Not as bad as... Not as bad as the, uh... Use of the, uh... Like, shield. That just kills the shield. That just kills the battery. And I'm hitting more stuff again. Okay, so the first thing I've got to get through is getting past the first Leviathan down here. I can tell you this, the prawn suit actually, it's not in below zero. Adjusting. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm going to have to concentrate to uh, learn all of the uh, new shortcuts, the new uh, abbreviations. But okay, uh, the prawn suit is not in. That's interesting. I thought it, I thought I had seen that it was, but uh, I mean I don't know anything. Let's be honest. I thought I heard, actually I thought I heard that the sea moth wasn't in. I thought the prawn suit was and the sea moth wasn't. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit close to where that. Oh, in fact, I can tell I'm getting close to where the frickin' thing is, because I can see all the flashing lights from my decoys. What a tip for dealing with... I mean, I know that... Um, I know you said before about uh, hitting the shield will get rid of them. But then we already know that that kills my power. I guess I could just tap it, like turn it on and turn it off again immediately. Oh, this time this is the one where I'm just going straight down here, isn't it? There's a thing I want to avoid. wait for him to kind of go a little bit away. Can you please turn on? I've not got my hang head around this. Sometimes it feels like you have to press this multiple times. And sometimes it feels like you only have to press it once. I guess I could just rig for slow running, couldn't I? I'm just trying to get past that thing without having to fire yet more decoys. Well, I think it's found me. Oh no, it's not interested this time. Come on. Go away. That's it. can't see a thing, so I'm turning on the sonar. There we go. Obviously. I think that I think it can sense the sonar, which is really irritating, because I can't see a thing here, and I need the sonar to get down. Remove your power cells before leaving the sub. You can plug them back in when you get out. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That is, that's a clever idea, actually. I like that they've put in stuff like that as well. Crunk. Uh. 
I feel like the Cyclops is just slightly too large to comfortably go down here. Or maybe I'm just bad at piloting it. Let me put the Cyclops right about here where all the lava should make it really easy to find. Saurians! It went attack mode before you put the sonar on. Really? I thought I'd got away with it, but then, then again, there's only so much I can uh, take in at once. But that's fair enough. For once, I didn't have to deploy a bajillion... Uh... Oh, hang on. I always forget to turn the engine off. And I should probably turn off the silent running as well, because that's largely going to be what's killing my batteries. And I need to fix that. And I need to take some drink and some food. I need to do everything, basically. It went circle and attack. Okay. I'm tempted to just try and kill it at some point, because let's be honest, it's freaking annoying. Uh, okay, well, I was supposed to be uh, dis unloading the batteries, wasn't I? Unload, 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 unload. Also, welcome in, Sorions. I hope you, I'm saying that now, right? Or, or is it Sorio NZ, maybe, for New Zealand? But yeah, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. I've just been given a mission to uh, attack the sea dragon with the prawn. Because for some reason I keep making the stupid idea of uh, giving putting redeems on the game where people can deliberately disrupt my gameplay. Good to see that the uh, scanning stuff is still not attached to the hull correctly. But yeah, let's see if I can actually pull this off. I might actually drop a hard save here just in case things go really badly wrong and I... I don't know. Just in case. Oh, of course, I've got no oxygen now because, uh... Because I've taken all the batteries out as well. But yeah, okay. Let me just heal this thing up first because it's already coming into the fight with low, uh, health. And let me get a feel for this. So I've got a, I, I can grapple onto stuff like that. And then I'm just going to be using my drill arm. And for some reason I'm keep forgetting that L1 is the uh, booster pack. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Be aware, with the power cells removed, yes, yes, I'm, I'm aware of that now. Okay, so the sea dragon should be around here somewhere. There it is. Well, this can only go badly, right? Thank you, Pharaoh, for giving me this challenge. And in the blue corner, the Buttmobile. Weighing in at like 10 tons or something. Where has it gone? Get a kick butt. Uh, it's certainly going to try. I'm not very good at the grappling hook, just for the record. It's a very slow grappling hook. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you're in water. But I haven't really got a feel for how it works. Like, I, I really can't time it. And I 
yeah, I, I'm trying to lead the target, but the other problem I... The other thing I can't get my head around is, like, it's got an incredibly short range compared to what I expect. I, I kind of want it to have a much... Uh, much longer range. Also, Kyanite. I've just found some more Kyanite. Nice. Um, okay. I'm not sure if this is... I can't tell if this is working or not. Um... Okay, that did some damage to me. I, th I think I am locked onto it. Oh, here we go. I can't tell for the life of me what's happening because so everything is so dark. Hold the button down as long as you can. Yeah, I'm... I think I must have... No, I think I must have uh, been let go now. I couldn't... I just... I kind of can't entirely tell whether I've got hold of it or not. Everything just kind of goes pitch black and I can't tell whether I'm moving with the thing or not. Use your jump jets to help you stay... I, yeah, I, yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Maybe see if I can get back up here. If I can get on here, this will be a useful platform to launch myself at him from. There he is. The fact that the jump jets kind of keep turning off as well. I'm just making up excuses. Clearly I'm just making up excuses, but still. Okay, I think this is possibly time to go for a repair run. So far, not been very successful, not gonna lie. Do I need to put myself in a good position where I can hide? This is really dark for a lava zone. This is really incredibly dark for a lava zone. I was expecting it to be really bright in here permanently. Nope, I don't want to get in the prawn suit, I want to repair the prawn suit. Yeah, so enjoy, guys, for the next probably 15 or 20 minutes, you're going to enjoy me uh, failing over and over to get this right. I mean, he says inactive lava zone. There is clearly some actual active... No, not the storage. There's clearly some active lava here. Here we go, here we go. Get over to this side. Uh, can't tell where I am again. Okay, I'm gonna try and land on this ledge. See if I can pull this off. Okay, get my boosters back. So as long as I don't use too much, I get them back. I think if I deplete them, then I don't get the boosters back until I actually land properly. Oh, it's such an awkward combination of buttons to have to press. I'm having to... I've got to hold down R2 the whole time to coat my grapple. I've got to press L1 to use the boosters to stay on its back. I've got to hold down X with my thumb on the right hand to use the laser, not the laser, the mining thing, the drill. And I've got to use my thumb on my left hand to angle myself. On the plus side, this seems a fairly good place to be grappled on. Hey, JDM. How you doing? 
I don't even have to use my uh, drill thing right now. He's just trying to grind me on the ceiling, which is doing nothing for him. I am really looking forward to this guy never coming back. Yeah, this, this combination on PlayStation is incredibly annoying. I need about, I've got about three or four different things that I need my thumb for. And <laughs> it's really hard to keep it going. Uh, is that him dead? Is he dead? I can't believe that hit, he died a lot quicker than I was expecting. So is he never going to return now as well? Or is he uh, going to respawn in a while? Wow, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. I genuinely was kind of expecting it to just all go wrong at some point. Nice. Leviathans never respawn. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess while I'm here, I might as well grab some more Kyanite. What's that that I can hear? Uh, I thought you said that they never respawn. Was there a... Did you just not tell me there's a second one, Pharaoh? Because there is clearly another sea dragon right there. Give him the old scan. Um... I think I already scanned the sea dragon. Maybe? First of all, let me just very quickly check this. Uh, alien data... No, it's not alien data. Indigenous life forms... No, I didn't scan him before. Well, I guess I've got another chance to scan him now. I feel like I've been brought into a trap. Either he wasn't dead in the first place, or there was always several of them and people were expecting this, or the game has just done something really weird. I don't really want to be in front of his face. And I've burnt out all my, uh... Oh no, I am getting... I am getting booster back. But you know what? This kind of works right now. As long as he doesn't try to start spitting fire. I'm not having to press anything down here right, apart from LR... Nope. I've... Apparently I've lost the grapple. Or... Or, so, or have I? Whoa! 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 What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. It's time to bail out. Bail out, get a bit of a uh, heal up and come back again. Stop telling me to enter the prawn. I just want to repair the thing. I... Part of me... I don't know why. Part of me thinks that there probably aren't meant to be two and some game weirdness has just happened with like a respawn or something. Welcome aboard, Captain. But yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. I don't really believe that you were trying to trick me.
So I was trying to think if there's... Okay, there's places over here I can go to to try and get above him. Try and land on top of one of these stacks. A hint. You can grapple to the ceiling to get above it. Yeah, true. That is a fair point. Whoa! Move. Fair point. I'm still not finding the grapple super easy to deal with, though. I'm still finding the grapple kind of awkward. So I'm basically trying to avoid grappling as much as possible because I just don't like it. I think if the grapple range was longer, I would be okay with it. But the fact that the grapple range is so short is just really confusing to me because it it feels almost kind of worthless. Except for holding on to uh, Leviathans, of course. Come on, come back. I want to kill you. Come on. Don't be a chicken. Don't be a coward. Come back. Well, I guess if he's going to do that, I'll take the opportunity to repair again. What was that? Hey, sea dragon, your father was a crayfish and your mother smelled of gasopods. I like it. Where has he gone? I mean, I've killed one of them. I'm a bit disappointed with the fact that there's still one here. But maybe I should just use this opportunity to grab some kyanite or something. So having accomplished this... Yes, yes, the thermal... Yeah, the, I was about to ask about that. Don't you even dare, I see you. Frickin... Frickin' things. Get off. Yeah, I was just about to ask about the uh, the place I need to go for. It was... Well, it was talking about a, uh, a volcanic zone, so I was thinking it has to be some way connected to the lava. So I was wondering if I could get to it through this way or not. Have a quick read of the entry for it again, hang on. Before I do that... Inside an extensive natural rock formation, which this is, in an area of intense volcanic activity. So I guess it's right around here then. I should probably uh, take a look for it. Where is it? I'm a little bit weirded out that I can no longer see that sea dragon. I'm a little bit concerned. I feel like I should be able to see it after it was so visible for so long. Nope. Not having any of you coming after me. Whoa, 
Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I keep feeling like it's just going to appear out of nowhere and surprise me. It probably is, in fairness. Also, why can I suddenly not land on anything? I just feel like I've just suddenly become incapable. The heck are you? I guess, actually, talking about it, volcanic activity. There's a ton of these ports. So maybe I should take a look on the seabed around here. What is that? Is that just like a massive skeleton down there? In fact, one may even call the thing you're standing on extensive rock formation. Oh, I see what you mean about that. Yeah, I, I thought when they talked about extensive rock formation, I just thought it meant that, like the caves that we've been going through. So yeah, fair enough. I should take a look for that facility around here, shouldn't I? Sorry, JDM. I apologise that I uh, didn't talk much before to you. I was kind of distracted by the fact that uh, Pharaoh had just decided to do, uh, arbitrarily ask me to uh, kill probably the what I'm guessing is the uh, toughest enemy in the game. That's cool for news. That's cool. I will catch you later. <laughs> Can't have done. Can't possibly have done. That looks more like, um... That's, that's not, that's definitely not a sea dragon. Hang on, what on earth was that that just attacked me? Was it that? Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. But yeah, okay, so we must be around here somewhere then. You can give the skeleton a scan. Okay, nice. I will do that as soon as I've taken this in. Although it's quite hot here. So I hope that I don't die while I'm at it. That's it, get in my hold. Nice, nice, nice uh, payoff on this one. The reinforced diving suit is rated up to 70 degrees. I was wondering what the uh, highest temperature it was able to stand was. Look, just stop giving me the enter prawn message. Just let me repair my suit. Detecting alien materials and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. Okie dokie. I guess I'm close to it then. Where am I right now? From, uh... Oh, actually, I'm not far from the Cyclops at all. Interesting. Nope. Down this pit, maybe? Hang on, hang on. Back up. But before I go down here... Before I go down here, let's just check how deep... Yeah. Let's just, just check how deep this thing is supposed to be. Also, what's this? Is it silver? That's gold. You freaking... 
Arr! Stop that! Stop that, it's really annoying. Good. I think it was a depth of 1200 meters. So like right around here somewhere. Hang on, what's this? Nice. I was not expecting to find this just here like that, but I'll take it. Does the diving suit itself have a uh, depth rating? The volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3000 Earth years ago. You have no depth rating, nice. So technically I could do this entire game by myself. What I could really do with is something to mark my path through here. Because I can't help feeling I'm going to get very, very lost. Okay, so when I came in here, I dropped down, and then I got to this kind of room with lava in the center. You kind of have an oxygen... Yeah, that... Oh, okay, granted. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I guess I might as well pick up all this kyanite lying around. Is this the only place where you get kyanite that can just be picked up by hand? Well, and crystalline sulfur as well, I guess. Ah, okay, so I don't actually have to go that far anyway. Then there's a kind of like a spiral staircase downwards. And it looks like we have to jump across a lava pit to get here. Okay, ooh, 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 ooh. We need to be a little bit careful here. Nice, trophies. Let's uh, step away from the prawn suit for a little bit. Frickin' guardians. Always frickin' guardians. I think they operate on line of sight. So hopefully I can get away with losing him for a second. Okay, where do I have to go to enter this place? Let's check the top first. Don't think it's the top. There's going to be some really, really obvious entrance. Because inevitably, why would there not be an, en an obvious entrance? Oh, come on. The one item I want to use is never the one that's actually equipped. You remember how you got into the disease research facility? Same entrance location. Uh, what if I were to tell you I don't really remember how I got into the disease entrance research facility? 
I remember going round the disease research end facility. Oh, look. Nice. Okay. So just so I'm aware, when I get back out of here, I need to... Oh, this has got air in it as well. When I get out of here, I just need to turn... Okay. Yeah, turn left. There's usually not any threats in here. So I'll just walk around with the scanner and see... Oh, snap! I guess, probably what I want is uh, to be in the prawn suit. Let's try and do this without falling in the lava, shall we? That'd be nice. Come on, in we go, in we go, in we go, there we go. Interesting, the rockets still work here. Please tell me you have the tablets in your own... Uh... I mean, I can tell you. I, I can tell you that that's the case. It won't make it true. Okay, so... What is the reckoning? Nah, I'm not going to try and brush it back. Hold up one second. Okay, I'm holding up one second. I mean, while I'm here, let me repair the prawn suit. Oh, nice. It kind of just, like, neatly folds itself away. Interesting. Tuck forgetting vital story parts again. Would I do such a thing? Would I really do such a thing? Come on now, Fadoos. The heck is that? As long as it's not going to attack me. Or my suit. No, no, no. Just, 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 just freaking let me go in the prawn suit. There we go. I'm probably not going to be able to store nearly as much of this as I would like. But, uh, yep, yep. Oh, it ducks down so that I have the ability to, uh... It ducks down so I can actually access my storage. That's why it does it. got an ion cube in your inventory. I, I mean, I've got multiple ion cubes in my inventory already. Let me ditch some of them and put some of this in an exchange. Then let me grab some of these cubes that it didn't pick up for some reason. Oh, oh, no. oh freaking heck, I'm an idiot. Okay, look to your right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Oh, hello. Where does this one go then? Pop through there. Can do. Am I going? Okay, so where has this brought me out? Oh, 
Oh yeah, hey, that's cool. Are there any purple thingies in here that I can pick up then? Or are you just showing me this as a kind of, uh, this is a cool location you can return back to kind of thing? Okay, yep, that's cool. I mean, I feel like I could probably get back to my uh, Cyclops and pick up those two purple thingies uh, quickly enough from where I was anyway. But this way works as well. Actually, you know what? I, I am going to do nice. I am going to do the prawn thing because I reckon it's just going to be like at least twice as quick. But thank you for the option. I do appreciate it. slurp some water down. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to uh, stop messing around because I am slowly running out of resources. Okay. I reckon I can do this, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on my oxygen meter. Straight across here, then it was up. Okay, so it's basically 500 meters southwest. And I really hope the sea dragon doesn't appear out of here. I probably just jinxed it by saying that. Okay, I, pre I reckon I'm good now. I reckon I'm good. I should have emptied my uh no I've actually, I've got a fair amount of space. I can I can do this. I can do this. Okay, cool. While I'm here, oxygen production offline. Let me drop a whole ton of not all the ion cubes just in case, but let me drop a ton of stuff in here. And then I think it was this one. Cool, grab these back, and we are go. Sea Dragon be like, sorry, did someone call my name? Exactly. Southwest, about this direction, get the sea glide out, go. In fact, I can kind of tell where I need to go, because the Buttmobile icon as well. I'm not entirely certain of. Oh, okay. That was easy. I was about to say is how uh, high up I need to be, but that was easy. Straight across there, across, into here where you kind of go down. And yeah, okay. We got back. Exit was on the ground floor. I was wondering which floor I was supposed to be on as well. But uh, it's cool. It's cool. I presume that this thing is so huge so that the prawn suit can go through it and everything. Navigate it like a pro. Let's just pretend that I actually know what I'm doing. I'm probably missing a whole load of stuff. Being in the prawn suit makes me go super fast. Thank you. I uh, don't mind if I do. Before I do this, then, I'm just going to quickly go back not in the prawn suit and look 
do a more thorough scan to see if I missed anything in here. My prawn suit is exquisite. Thank you very much, Lisa. What I will say, Lisa, is uh, if you look at my uh, channel point redeems. Okay. Uh, I've got uh, channel point redeems to rename my... Uh, this is not where I came in, is it? Or is it? Uh, to, to rename my uh, equipment to also to uh, to recolor it. So at the moment, basically everything that you see, if it's colored a particular color, it's not because I've particularly picked it. It's because uh, other people have asked me to do it for you know for them. So uh, I can't. Who was it that asked me to? Uh, I think it was. I think it was Canadian. Canadian Redbeard. Who uh, wanted the uh, pinkness on the? Uh... Well, that's where I came in, isn't it? Who wanted the pinkness on? Whoa! I was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, the one of the pinkness on the uh, prawn suit. So yeah, you can thank him for the uh, color. Okay, so what I'm going to say before I go any further, so so what we just saw there was a clearly kind of something like a cross between a humanoid and I'd say with the four eyes. There's been a lot of reference to the larger creatures in this game having four eyes. So I'm going to go out and say that this is all linked together to the way that it says that the plague that we've got turns people, like mutates them. I'm saying that it t kind of turns them into those kind of fish. Possibly even that it's going to end up being that like the entire population of sea creatures on this planet all originated from... Oh, was it Drim? Yeah, it might have been Drim. Okay. Uh, but possibly the entire like population of this planet originated from like people thousands and thousands of years ago who were... Uh, or maybe even millions of years ago who came here to... Um, you know, got infected and got turned into sea creatures and now... There's clearly this woman has got something about her where she can kind of communicate to me across the void. Okay, let's take a look at this. New PDA data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens rec recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with the encountered oh, encountered so far on 4546B. Extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of the species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. And what have we got here? Cute little robot. I won't read this stuff because stuff but you're looking a bit too deeply into the causes mutations oh okay fair enough I'm slightly disappointed okay why do I get the feeling that I might get zapped here I'm just gonna go for it Okay, since I'm running out of water and food, I won't read all this stuff now. I'll wait until I get back to the base. Okay, there's the ion power. Okie dokie. So, I would hang around here for longer. Unfortunately, I didn't sort out my food source, which I really should have done. So... <laughs> it is kind of cute. Um, I guess I could head back through the portal. I guess in fair... No, actually, I can't... Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. 
what I'm going to do... I'm going to take the prawn suit through the portal. I'm going to get back to base, feed myself up a bit. I'm going to abandon my footlong for now, yes. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to grab some more food and water. And also, the Bulbo tree should definitely be uh, grown now in my personal quarters. So I should be able to take some clippings to bring back to the Cyclops this way. Shame, Doc. <laughs> Shame. Ding. Did I see this before? We've got an actual... I was thinking to myself a minute ago about underwater portals. Thinking, like, whether I could bring a sea moth or even the cyclops through one. But I hadn't seen one. Now I've actually seen one. Okay. Don't forget the tablets. I... What do you mean? Sorry, what do you mean, Fadoos? I did... I went back to the Cyclops already and got the two tablets that I needed. So I'm okay on that, ta on that count? Or do I need to get more tablets? Yes, yes. I thought I had. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. I need to turn that uh, Aurora Rendezvous Point dry land thing off. I don't need it right now. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. What are you eating for dinner, man? I'm curious. I'm always curious about food because basically everyone's food always sounds nicer than mine. And for some reason I have a perverse pleasure in making myself feel hungry. by uh, asking about everyone else's nicer food than mine. Uh, I'm always talking about how I need titanium and how I don't want titanium and how I need titanium again. I guess since it's literally being handed to me on a plate, I shouldn't pass it up. Fries and pork chop with cucumber. I'd never thought about the idea of cucumber going with fries and pork chops. But now I think about it, it could work. You might just be a genius. Hmm. How, how is the uh, cucumber served? Is it just like raw cucumber sliced? Or is it like pickled or like sauteed in some you know not sauteed marinated in some way <laughs> yeah we should all sort dinner at some point what's the time half five already I've been going for two hours time flies oh okay fair enough I'm not a big I'm not a big veggie person myself I've got to admit I got back quicker than I was expecting to But uh, carrots, sweet corn, stuff like that are my main thing for uh, for uh, greens, so to speak, even though they're not green. Okay, we are back. How much have I got in my inventory? Uh, a few ion cubes. Murphy's Law in Subnautica. If you say, oh, I don't need that, you absolutely will the next time. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, yep, good point. Good point, Canadian. Before I do that... I'm going to ditch some stuff from here, though. See how much titanium I can get rid of in here. Most of it. That's fine. 
I'll get rid of the ion cubes into here. Wow, have I really taken everything out of here? I thought I at least had a spare battery at one point. Uh, in the gear, I will drop the blue tablet. Oh, I do at least have one spare water and one spare Reggie, but let me grab all of this stuff again. Let me grab... Well, I don't know why I did that. I don't remember pressing that button. But sure, why not? Okay, I've got four Reggies, so that'll make me some more snacks. Are you planning to carry on to the next facility? I'm seriously considering it. Is there a reason I should consider not? Okay, uh, cure some fish. Nope, that's not where you cure fish. Incidentally, what am I seeing here? I can now make ion battery and also... Oh, ion battery and ion power cell. Ah, can I like super power all of my equipment as well? I can make a blue tablet with that stuff. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, I guess I probably can load ion batteries into my equipment. You need blue two blue tablets for it. The one you picked up and you'll need to... F oh, okay. That's cool. How does one fabricate a second blue tablet? While I... While we mull on that question, let me go and grab the Bulbo tree stuff before I completely forget. Okay, so I think I just knife this. Yes, of course. I'm just going to plant a few on there, aren't I? Let's just knife this as many... Oh, of course. Oh, they're huge. Of course they're huge. Why would they not be huge? So what I'll do is I'll build another chic plant pot. I'll grow another one for entirely cosmetic purposes here. Is it just this tree sample that you eat, Pharaoh? Because I thought you said it was plus 12, plus 12. But that doesn't seem to be... That seems to be like half of it. I'll drop them in. Take these back. Drop them in. Just the tree sample. Fair enough. So what, just eat the tree sample? Because that doesn't look like it's already gone old. But uh, but that doesn't look like a particularly uh, good source of food. No, no, it's cool. I am wondering if I should do something different, though. Just eat... So, for instance, like... Coming back here, one lantern fruit. Oh, is actually even worse. Fair enough. How much storage do I have right now? It's more nutritious fresh. I mean, I mean, I literally only plucked it a second ago. But fair enough. Okay. I don't know what I've done there. 
I think I've accidentally moved so fast that I've put another tool in front of my face. I think maybe I moved on the D-pad, making it think I was changing the white the item I was using at the same time as I moved onto the pad. They decay fair decay fairly fast. Kind of a pluck it and eat it straight away. Fair enough. Fair enough. Out of interest, let me just go and try now. <laughs> oh, I'm really good at finding bugs. I am like the bug lord. Trust me. If there is a bug, I will find it. Okay, so... Uh, plus 8, plus 10. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I think I've still got some more stuff from... the prawn suit to unload. While I'm here, the prawn suit does not have all of its attachments right now. I wonder uh, how much would be involved in getting them. I wonder what other attachments there are for it right now. Okay, let's ditch it all in here, I guess. Yes, I'm not going to ditch it all in there. Let's take one gold and see if I can get away with shoving it in. Yeah, I can. Nice. Good. Perfect. Get rid of the titanium. Oh, I can't get rid of the titanium. Fine. Just a thought. Can you move some of those trees into the shed room as the bioreact? Yeah, I can. I can do. Uh, I've been a little bit weird with this game in that I've often done things basically on the rule of what kind of looks cool. rather than what's actually practical in any way, shape, or form. So I deliberately kept them in separate rooms just because I thought, eh, you know, it kind of... it looks nice that way to have a room for the uh, trees. But yeah, you are entirely correct. I could just do it that way. And it would be much more efficient. Oh, I think I reached my 10,000 steps a long time ago. Rule of cool is the coolest rule, isn't it, Just? Okay, so what are the other prawn suit upgrades? The easiest thing would be to go and take a look at this station, I guess. Actually, what are the upgrades I've actually got, first of all? How about one where I don't keep getting stuck on the terrain? I've got a depth module and I've got the jump jets. So I can build the thermal reactor, which... Actually, I could probably do relatively easily right now. And then there's a load of arms. Oh, of course, because there's common modules that I could put on them. Like the hull reinforcement, for instance. New raid message. All hail Bug Lord Tark and his invasion of this land. Certainly worth uh, considering, yeah. I, can, I, could, I could go for that one. I feel like I'll never successfully invade something though, because I'll just like um, clip through the terrain and fall through the uh, out of the sky map or something. Skybox. If I build a second storage module, can I just load up a ton of storage modules? Pardon me. Excuse me. But yeah, okay. I think the thermal mod, uh, thermal reactor, is the first thing to go for. So two kyanite. Two silver and pony aniline is um, benzene and something. Oh, it's sorry, hydrochloric acid in gold and hydrochloric acid. Okay, so t three deep shrooms, one salt. Three deep shrooms, one salt, one gold. Three deep shrooms, one salt, one gold. <laughs> derp shrooms. Oh, I love that. I am definitely going to call them derp shrooms from now on. Whoops. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not trying to do that. Plant them back and plant them back. 
Okay, I've got the three derp shrooms. Saw one lad stack them vertically, since you don't need to open the doors. Stack what vertically? Sorry. I'm... Also, what, okay, salt. I need one salt. There, I can get some salt from here. Salt. I need a gold. I think I'll take the gold from over here. To even things up. I do need two kyanite. Is that all of the stuff I... Oh, no, I need two silver ore as well. I'm going to have to go on another silver ore collecting trip at some point. Oh, the storage cabinets. Yeah, that would be cool. Could I? I? I couldn't do that here. Yeah. That would be useful. Okay, make some hydrochloric acid. Make some polyaniline. Make a wiring kit. And I think that was it. You don't think store? Oh, sorry, sorry. You don't think storage module stack? Apologies, I'm missing a couple of bits. Okay. So I don't want another Seamoth perimeter defense system. I've already got one of them. Oh, I need two polyaniline. Oh, I completely missed that. You guys probably told me and everything, and I just didn't see it at all. But yeah, no, I, I having having double would really be nice. One, two, three. Knifey, knifey. Okay, I've got my derp shrooms. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen some creative uh, ways of putting a ton of storage on things. Suddenly I'm, I'm wondering whether you can like build a storage locker on the back of your prawn suit. I would love it if you could. Don't, I suppose, strongly suspect you can't, but uh, hey, it would be amazing. I think I'm lacking the gold for the hydrochloric acid, aren't I? Okay, polyaniline. Let's get the thermal reactor thing. Freaking game does not like me going through this area. Okay. And since we decided I couldn't stack storage, maybe I should go for a hull reinforcement. The energy efficiency wouldn't be that useful. But a hull reinforcement could be quite useful if I'm having to go punching things again. What else have I got on here? Yeah, that's basically everything. Okay, fair enough. Also, while I'm here, while I'm here, let's check out what is involved in making these. That is very, very doable. I would have to go for another gold and silver run. Yeah, I might do that at the start of next stream. I might go for a gold and silver run. Does watching you walk count to... Yeah, it does. It does. I definitely feel it does. I would have to t collect a ton of gold and silver. Because, presumably, yeah, well, what I want is 12 ion power cells for the Cyclops. So that itself requires 24 batteries. So that would require basically an entire inventory full of gold and an entire inventory full of silver. Plus I want the batteries for the tools I use. But yeah, okay, I think at the start of next stream, I'm going to start trying to ionize all of my equipment. But okay.
this has been good. But uh, let's head back now, shall we? Or is there something? Is there something I should particularly be? Uh, Uh, I don't know. Well, don't, I don't know if you saw Canadian, but um, I don't know if you saw. But I basically, hang on, it's this kind of direction I want to go, isn't it? Uh, I in, in the last place we went to, we started finding actual massive deposits of ion cubes. So I probably got like sixteen of them just from that. Okay, let me go through here. We turn off these for now and where is the place oh sorry blue tablets yes good point blue tablets but I also need to work out where I'm going back to I can't quite remember which direction I was going uh, I've got some food and water I've got four fish and four water again I should really stop bringing one food one water for each fish because I go through water twice as fast. So I should really start bringing extra water, I guess. And I should probably have some extra... Uh, yeah. That'll do. I don't want to have too much, but... Uh, oh, I've actually still got some ion cubes in my inventory right now. Because I'm running out of space to store them all, I guess. Okay, so what does it take to build... A blue tablet. Where do I even go to look? It's not here. Oh, hang on. I think I just went past it. One ion cube, two kyanite. That's fine. I'll grab the one tablet from here. I'll grab one ion cube and two kyanite. Mountain Island is mostly north. I guess at least I'm going to see it from a long way away. I usually take three water for every two food. Sounds about right. I've accidentally unwittingly picked the right, uh, you know, uh, picked the same quantity that you've uh, suggested there. Also, what did I do with all the... Oh, I know what I did with the uh, Bulbos. I put them in the prawn suit. Which was actually a relatively good idea for once. Who would have known that I could actually come up with good ideas? <laughs> yeah, as my uh, grandparents used to say. My grandma. I think she, she's still alive, so I guess... Uh, still does. Uh, great minds think alike. Fools seldom differ. I guess it's going to be in the direction of the clouds. So, uh, this kind of direction, I guess. Yep, there it is. Miraculously appearing. I like how I can see it under the water. If I go out of the water... Okay, I can see it now out of the water, but still. What was that? Oh, just a regular... Oh, it's silver ore! Yeah, okay, I can't really pass up a uh, gift horse like this, can I? Except it doesn't seem to re effectively be drilling. There we go. Since it's given me exactly the thing I was looking for. So I'm guessing I'm going to end up just going down the huge pit that we talked about not going down before.
That is how I assume this is going to work out. Um, have I run out of space or something? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I load the prawn suit up and so on, because I can ditch it into uh, the Cyclops when I get back to the Cyclops. Oh, also, I was going to read through those uh, logs, wasn't I? I'll read through those logs as soon as I get back to the uh, base and through the portal. All those rocks look bizarrely like, uh... Bizarrely like silver ore. Now, where was the entrance to this place? Hang on, I remember, I remember jumping up these things. So it must be around here. Ah, yes, this is the portal that I found. The underwater portal I haven't activated yet. I definitely put a ding in it doing that. Come on. Out you come. Out you come, prawn suit. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one again, shall we? Yeah, the grapple is a lot more effective on land. No, it's not. It still goes really slowly. Okay, here we go. Through the portal. As the game very slowly loads another area of the map. Then I'm going to glug some water, because it's definitely about time for that. Oh yeah, I was going to read some logs, wasn't I? Why have I always got messages here? Okay, alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. For an alien thermal plant, surprise it's only 90%. <laughs> yes, Marcus, I'm all the way down here. You, uh... You missed me uh, killing a sea dragon by by uh, drilling it with the uh, prawn suit. But yeah, now I've uh, I've done some uh, some progress, and now I'm about to do a bit more, I think. Okay, most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanics involved, uninterruptible. Given... Uh, I don't think they did, but uh, it's on the VOD, so you can just go back and watch it. It took me a while. I was struggling to get my head around the... Uh, how the uh, grapple gun worked, and then I just kind of got lucky. And then also a second one turned up, which was a bit confusing. Want some Leviathan milk? Is that because uh, I was talking about uh, drilling it? Are we going for the uh, oh yeah kind of lines here? Yeah, given given that it says that those power cells also yeah sorry I should say hey dear bear twenty oh no fair enough no fair enough thank you for the follow I appreciate that I I was just I was just making a bit of a joke how are you how hope you've had a good weekend welcome in welcome in don't mind me I'm just Partly advancing the plot, partly just messing around and getting everything wrong. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. 
not too bad. Thankfully it's not nearly as hot as it has been, so I'm not quite melting in the heat like I was last week. And I've got a week off work coming up as well, so I am feeling really good now. Finally having a week off work. But yeah, given that it's saying that those power cells can power in a small city for a year, I'm going to guess that the game only makes the uh, markup on the power cells like 2 or 3% more efficient. You can get Leviathan milk in the mouth. Ah, uh, that sounds thrilling. I might have to try that next time I'm going for a sea dragon, or I might just stay in cower in a corner. No <laughs> weeks off, only work. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what it's been like for a long time. But no, I feel it was actually time to have a time some time off. I have to stab it. Well, I managed to use the drill arm, and it did die. There is uh, VOD proof. But yeah, I'm very interested uh, as to how much more efficient the uh, ion power cells are going to be than the uh, original ones. It would be very nice if they were like, basically made it so you just never have to reload stuff. That would be cool. Okay, a primary router in the thermal plant that is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm, connected through this cave network, south southeast, area of volcanic activity, depth 1.4 kilometers. Self warping quarantine enforcement units. Oh, oh, okay, that's this is what it's got. Arch network, so it's got an arch. Sanctuaries, Alpha, Beta, and Kappa. Have I found all three of uh, Sanctuaries, Alpha, Beta, and Kappa? Quarantine enforcement platform. Disease research facility offline. We know about that. Primary containment facility and reserve. Five times more efficient. Okay. Uh, it's better than it could have been, but it's still kind of a bit cheap. Kyanite is a blue silicate mineral which forms under high temperature, high pressure conditions. It is resistant to heat up to 1100 degrees Celsius and is thermoelectric, making it a valuable component of thermal power plants. What else have we got? Ah uh, yes, the deceased. Reapers are ill-suited to high temperature environments, suggesting this creature was forced down into the active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains on the bones, indicating specimen died in recent months. Burns and other physical damage to the skeletal structure likely became prey for something bigger. There's always a bigger fish. They're more like Easter... hang on. You found none of... oh, I see! Oh, okay, that's interesting. So they're just kind of like... they're like hidden locations rather than actual stuff you're supposed to be doing. They're a pain to find. Interesting. Given that the map doesn't really feel huge, especially once you get to know it, I'm surprised that uh, there are three sanctuaries that are kind of that well hidden. Okay, before I go down here... Uh... I think I'm going to head back to... I'm going to head back to this... Uh, to the footlong. Oh no, it's, sorry, for Canadian, it's not called the footlong anymore, it's called the something like. It was supposed to be something like that, but uh, we ran out of characters. It's still coloured in subway colours though. But yeah, let's go back to uh, the Cyclops and drop off some stuff. They're very well hidden, small, have a few ion cubes, and a couple of other background flavor text scannables. That's cool. You can probably see them on YouTube. Yeah, that's fair. Open! 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 Oh! It, it won't open because I've unloaded the batteries! Okay, 
let's grab one power cell for now. Let's ditch this silver ore into storage. I will not ditch the blue tablets for now. Right, I'll shove the power cell in. That ladder is just being too annoying, so I'll go back this way. I'm kind of interested in what they, you know, where they are and what they look like. You're in that mountain thingy. Yeah, I, so so before I wanted to get to um, yeah the place you've just seen me coming from, but now apparently I found that I'm really close to uh, another place. So uh, basically, I'm unloading the prawn suit and then going back in. Okay. Sounds like a kid whose voice is breaking. I think I said that before. I grab the bulbos. Plant one in there. Plant one in there. They can grow for now. Otherwise, nope, that wasn't what I was going for. 100% not what I was going for. Oh, I'm not going to make it a round power. I can probably reach the end of Act 2 this stream. Nice. I've only got about an hour left. But I hope so. So, if I do reach the end of Act 2 this stream, does that mean I'm pretty much guaranteed to finish next weekend? Okay, and now grab all the silver ore and let's dump it in storage. Put the Bulbos back in there, put the Silver Ore. That's annoying, but I'll deal with it. Yeah, I'm... I'm aware of a couple of things. I, I know roughly where things are. I, I don't mind being prodded in a direction of things. So Pharaoh has been helping me with direction. But uh, but yeah, I don't I don't know what else is coming up. I just know uh, that I'm heading back down that hole. Okay, now this thing is empty. Uh, where was it? I was going. I think it was this way. Yeah, kind of southwesty. So you get Act Three done next week. Nice. Drink food. Um. I don't need to eat, drink, oh, drink food, eat water. So it took me a second to prose that, that for a second. I guess I could, like, mulch the food up into a paste. I'm not sure how I, I'm actually talking about eating water now. I could eat water. I, I was having a conversation with someone. I can't remember who it was now. Might have been uh, Senor Happy Cat for those of you who know him. About, uh, apparently they can get this water for people who have trouble swallowing. And it's like, basically like thick water. It sounds really weird. Okay, I'm, reminder for myself, I'm heading due south. Whoa! Okay. That's another sea dragon. That is a whoa, huge ion cube. And I've been freaking teleported. Freaking Okay, this is this is not cool. This is not cool. Uh I can't see where my thingy is right now. I don't know. I genuinely am not Oh there it is, there it is. I am what you Who want to help you. This is not the time. This is not the time, lady. I've got other stuff I'm focusing on. Maybe this is Maybe this is the, uh... Maybe this is the other sea dragon I, uh, fought before? Get off. 
I've got enough things on my plate with the sea dragon. I don't need you as well. Oh, it's not just like an ion cube. It's like an actual thing. Kind of wish I had gone for the hull upgrade now. Probably will stick it on in next stream. Yeah, maybe this is the other one I was fighting. You can just avoid the sea dragon and go straight for this facility. Okay. I can't pick that up, can I? Yeah, so I'm I'm quite open to I'm, I'm quite open to pointers, you know, like uh, if you go over here and do this, you know, sorry, you, you know, if you if you do something a particular way, then you know, then it'll be quicker or bye or like um, or like if you want to get to the next thing, it's in this direction. Just don't tell me what I'm actually trying to do if I don't know about it. That's the, basically the rule. But yeah, it's all cool. I'm I'm generally quite chill. This isn't this isn't a major game like like in The Last of Us. I was really trying to avoid spoilers with The Last of Us 2 because that's like a really story heavy game. Oh. Well, I'm glad I came here. So I've just unleashed the uh, true boss of the game, haven't I? Can't wait for Zero Dawn. I, I have actually played Zero Dawn once before, so there won't really be a spoiler issue with that, for the record. But uh, but yeah, absolutely, if it's a game I don't know, then I try to my, my hardest to uh, not find out uh, anything I wasn't already aware of. Okay, what have we got here? I fully intend to scan everything. Oh look, it's an empty box. Oh, it's nanobots. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Unusual box. Is it a portable weighted companion cube? Scan the ion cube pedestal, the display cases, and investigate the rooms. I will do all of these things. Oh look, it's suddenly turned on. An ion cube fabricator. Oh, is this just going to be an unlimited source of ion? It's actually making more, isn't it? It's actually just making more ion cubes. Nice. I won't say no. New emote. Nice. I like my little high emote. I don't give it enough love. I should really use it more in uh, when I go to other people's streams. Aha! Where does this one go? I need to go and grab an ion cube from the prawn suit. <laughs> that's that's probably as much use as it's had in the last. Uh, great, perfect. That's probably as much use as it's had in the last, uh... What on earth was that? In the last few months? Okay, I don't like that sound at all. That sound sounds scary. That is a ton of emotes. Okay. It's lights. OK, 
Okay. Oh, right, I see. What lights was it that were turning on and off? Also, I've got to really kind of investigate this, don't I? I've got to find out where this goes. Apparently it takes me to 613 meters deep, so not nearly as... Probably, probably a place I've found already. The five lights on the access ramp. Uh, oh, I have... S have I been here before? I kind of recognize it and kind of don't recognize it. Where is this? Sivvy! Thank you. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Pharaoh, if you don't mind, could you possibly exercise your uh, modly duty and drop a shout out for Sivvy? I think I must have been here before. I'm not sure if I ever fully explored it though. Thank you very much. It's still on Mass Effect. How are you finding it? How far through are you now? I won't spend forever doing this. I... I think... I might... I think you might have tipped... You know, I, I, think, I, I think I might have stumbled across this. And then not really done anything with it on the basis that I think the only thing I found in here was the portal. You paused for a while and just picked up Mass Effect 3. Nice. What were you playing during your pause? There are phase gates in four biomes. Clearly the uh, lost water... Lost, uh, lost... What am I talking about? The underground river is one of them. And how far into Mass Effect 3 are we now as well? I do, for everyone who is here, I do thoroughly encourage you to drop uh, Sivy a look. She is a very cool streamer. Plays a mix of games and plays them a lot better than I do as well. I just kind of flap around and fail at things. This room appears to be a biological She's actually good at some things. More than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Okay. So we can see all the different eggs here and like maybe what they turn into. Doesn't seem to be anything to scan here. No, not even what they turn into. I can just see all the different eggs here. I'm surprised there's nothing to scan in this room at all. And there's just a big wall here. Oh, there is some data, though. You stopped playing this game when you had to go into the deep it's caves. <laughs> it's a lot easier, in fairness, when you're streaming. And you've got uh, chat to hold your hand. What on earth is that? It's just like an eye. An eye on a stalk. I mean, I guess most of the... Uh, fish in this game have been characterized by having prominent eyes, but uh, still. You started a Skyward Sword for the first time, but your Joy-Con drift was unplayable. You broke it trying to fix it. Oops. How much do they cost to replace? I don't actually know much about the Joy-Con drifts. But yeah, uh, Skyward Sword, I feel like... Oh man, there's multiple... I did not bring a second eye on cube because I'm an idiot. Bunny hop for glory. Ah, oh, you silly prawn suit. Let's turn on the scary lights again. And now it ducks down for me. It's 
the larval form of Sauron. But you know, I, I've really enjoyed this game. So, uh, Lenny, if you can conquer your fear, I would thoroughly recommend you uh, keep going with it. Because it is it's fun stuff. Okay, so where does this one take me? This one takes me 280 meters up. I haven't found that many other inner waypoint station, phase gates, or whatever they're called. I don't believe I've been here before. Or if I have, I don't remember it. You still need to play Alex VR. Nice. I, I actually really want to see Alex VR. But since I don't have a VR set and I'm probably not going to get one anytime soon, I've basically just not been able to justify it. Oh, they do attack you. Okay, I'm not going to go crazy exploring this place right Yeah, I can always come back here. Hey, Rain Faniel, what was it? I can't remember the name you wanted me to call you by. Natranel, Na I think it was. Natranel? How you doing, Natranel? All of it's very scary. In fairness, I, I, I've i definitely had similar... Go away. I've definitely had similar times when I've been like, Oh, I'm freaking going to die over and over again. But... Um, a lot of the game has generally been quite forgiving to me. Okay. Should I just start bringing more ion cubes with me? On the assumption that there's going to be another gate somewhere. Duck down. There we go. I'll bring one, and if there's another one in, if there's like another gate in here, then I'll guess there's probably going to be one in there, and I'll do some more mining. Go ram it. I am the worst sometimes. Yep, yep, we got another one. So this is like a central hub then. Where does this one take us? Four phase gates in this section, plus some more ion cubes are needed further on. How many ion cubes do we think I'm going to need? Okay, I have no idea where this is either. I might come back and do some exploring of these places. But yeah, as we expected, I need another Ion Cube. So, let's get into it. I recommend having four Ion Cubes once you pass through the blue tablet force field. I can do that. Down you come, and mining you go. Okay, so, I'm going to need some more, so I'll get that working on another one. Oh. There was something around here that I could scan. Oh, did I not even see these before? I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to have to read at some point. You beat this game four days ago. Hey, Henrik, how you doing? When did you start playing it, and how many hours did you invest into it? So only... Oh, no, there is another thing. Ancient Blade. Can I not have the sword? The sword looks cool. 
That is definitely a swashbuckler's sword. Okay, last gate opening. Where does this one take us? Two hundred and forty. This is going to be another place I've never been, isn't it? I think. Uh, probably. Not entirely certain, but probably. Out of interest, what does my self-scan say at the moment? You are close to frickin' dying. Just infected. Okay, nice. How many hours do I have? Probably at this point, I'm I'm probably about one stream away from uh, two days of playtime. So I'm probably at like 40, 45 hours going on. I reckon I'll probably hit about 50 hours by the time I complete the game. Based on uh, indications I've been given. Let me glug some more water. And as expected, I can now come back here and mine some more. You have a hundred hours or so. In fairness, this seems like a very easy game to just sink years of your life into. It's clearly got that kind of... That feel to it. That you can just lose yourself in this game. Hang on. I'm pretty sure I came in from below. So where does this go? Oh, actually, there's another, there's another room I forgot to go into as well. Okay. Uh-oh. No, it's just the lights. Goodness sake, I keep thinking I'm going to be attacked. Preserve fetus. Sea Emperor Fetus. Okay, so this is what a Sea Emperor looks like. Not at all creepy, I'm going to say. Okay. Nothing. Oh, I can scan it. Because you have six lockers of lithium, three of gold... Three of silver, one of ion cube, all the lockers it lookers it's full. Yeah. In fairness, you can yeah, you can absolutely just like lose your life to uh just to uh, hunting down materials in here, can't you? I have definitely got some reading to do. Okay, I've been in here. There is still another room I think I forgot to go into over here. So let me come over here. Is this the same room I was in before? Did I just go on the wrong side? Or are there two virtually identical chambers? I think this is probably the room I already went to. Yeah, because look, there's a... I got the information from here. Yeah, I've already downloaded that. Wrong side. Do you have a blue tablet? I believe I do. Yes, I have one blue tablet. Chat has been uh, keeping me on the right track for the items I need. Oh look, it's a super happy fun slide. This is like the play park, the water park of uh, of the alien. PDA data. Uh, like, set up. Inflow pipe, okay. Peepers en Oh, right, okay. Well, we've been talking- uh, Enzyme host peepers- uh, right Oh, so this thing is actually creating the enzyme host peepers, which then go around and keep everyone uh, all uninfected.
Why couldn't the enzyme peepers have like done a better job on me? This just looks like a basic fish tank. But there is a whole other place to go down. Open the last door after all the last the other the other doors. I mean I basically that was the plan. I'm not planning on going through that door with the that requires the blue tablet until I've checked everything else out. Look at those peepers. They're having so much fun just flowing down these pipes. Is this like a map of the facility or something? It's starting to remind me a little bit of a map, that design. Is there anything actually to uh, see down here though? I can't, I can't find anything else to scan. I don't think there's anything else to scan. Oh, so when we saw all those vents that were like one was sucking things in and one was pumping them out. They're, just, they're like the peeper collection plants. I'm slowly starting to understand everything I've been seeing around this world. It's supposed to be offline screens. Oh, okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Was there anywhere else to here in here to check out? Oh, okay, that just looks straight down there. Fair enough. Okay. I think we are ready to uh, go and check out this door. I think, I'm pretty sure I scanned the outflow pipe, yeah. Um, not that I'm sure where exactly to find it. Where is it? Okay, fair enough, you saw it. Cool. Right. On we go. Have I collected all of the ion cubes out of here? Let's grab four of them. It's the two enzyme host peeper entries. Oh, I see. Right, 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 right. Okay. Big old room. Possibly for concerts and raves. Oh, it's uh, got water in it. Uh, what? Why did that splash? And also, why do I have a horrible feeling that I'm about to face the Sea Emperor? Uh, rather than just jumping in the prawn suit into the mystery liquid, maybe I'll dip my head in first. Uh, seems moderately safe. Now, how do I get out again? Uh, how? How do I get out? Hang on. That looks like I could totally not do anything with it. I can climb up here. I can get out of the water. It doesn't really help me to stay out of the water. Best way is to do a jump. Oh, of course! I keep forgetting that I've got the jump chick with the glide, sea glide. There we go. <laughs> Might as well be for dues. Might as well be. Also, thank you for the lurk, Canadian. It's cool. It's cool. Beep. Beep. Oh, hello. Uh, see ya. Oh, she! Others came here once. 
She is the emperor thingy. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty adept at, uh, drilling things while uh, grappling onto their backs, if that answers your question. That, the way she talked both, I mean, she's been talking about helping us, but she also very much had the kind of the air of, the air of someone who can easily be, you know, can easily turn malevolent. Oh, she is emitting the enzyme as well. What's... Oh, and these are the exit things for all the, uh... Yeah, this is where they actually collect all the peepers. Okay. But yeah, so I'm, I'm not ruling out that she's going to turn hostile. Follow her. I mean, I'm kind of just swimming around and she's not going anywhere. Unless you mean just, like, sticking her tail, because... reason is because she used to be a human of some sort and she's adapted into aliens I'm gonna say am I just supposed to like f stick in her wake and get healed this way is that what this is all about maybe I'm not supposed to maybe I'm not supposed to be in the prawn suit for this point maybe I'm supposed to get out use the sea glide perhaps Hint, explore the ends of the chamber. Oh, okay. Let's get Unlike back in the buttmobile. The egg data thing, it's in the middle. See, I can get air again here. Oh, look! There's an old portal that's completely covered in sand. Can I drill it out of the way? This makes no sense. Why would drilling sand work? Hello, Jyrix. So, Jyrix Zero. How are you doing? I have, don't know how to say your name. How would you say your name? Can I just call you Gyrix? Look around! There's got to be a disease cure around here somewhere. I can't actually remember. I wasn't actually... Oh, hello. I wasn't actually there for the stream when you started that meme. So I can't actually remember the full wording of it. Uh, I guess this little thing goes nowhere. Oh, good to see we've got the little lady and robots here again. What's that glowing thing here? Oh, it's just a grit glitch. Of course it's just a glitch. Too far around. Just call you JX. I can call you JX. How are you doing? Welcome in. I'm just getting a bit lost trying to explore this place. Hang on, I thought this place was supposed to be, uh, like, non-hostile. I don't really want to have to go attacking things. I'm pretty sure she'll turn on me if I do. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Just making some good progress. Trying to find out what on earth is going on in this game and when I can get cured of my space disease. If that were a Stargate, okay, if that were a Stargate, presumably it would have a panel to open it somewhere. I, 
think I just assumed that, uh... Oh, of course, it's got a staircase. I think I just assumed that, like, because it was covered in sand, there had to be something else going on. Oh, oh, look. I see what you're talking about, the eggs now. Trophies. Okay, this is not doing anything. So let me guess. I have to interact with these things? Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plant like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Here we go, here we go. Now I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't need to watch another thing. Oh, she definitely doesn't sound. She definitely does not sound like she's got ulterior motives. Please don't kill me. So basically, we have to free her on the world to uh, essentially run amok and probably destroy all life, and she'll give us the uh, a devil's bargain. Perfect. I can, yeah, I can see that she's now hovering over the portal. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. Oh, is it like a, is it going to be a choice? Like I can actually voluntarily like I can choose to like to free her or I can uh refuse and like not play ball. Press egg. Bone sharks do be annoying outside the subwater nautical world. They are a little bit You must take the egg. So do I have to do the egg thing? Is that what we're saying? Oh, she's got bored of me already. There's no choice. Okay, fair enough. I don't feel bad about... Uh... Insert... I can't... Apparently I can't insert hatching enzymes. Maybe because I don't have any hatching enzymes? I'm guessing that the next part then is to find the hatching enzymes. Oh, this is going to be the thing that comes out in the underwater portal, isn't it? With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. You need to make this. them. Is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Oh, there we go, hatching enzymes. No, not go in the portal. Hang on, hang on. I feel like people are. I feel like people have differing opinions on what I should be doing here. So it's also getting a little bit confusing when people say there's no choice. You must press X. I'm trying to press X, but it's not doing anything. I'll move my my controller right next to here so you can hear me pressing X. It is not responding to this. Yeah, I was going to say, it feels like I need to actually make these enzymes. And in fact, if I come on here... Yeah, look. I, I've got to actually make them. Oh, snap. Interesting. So this then becomes a run around investigating the rest of the map. Ice stalk seeds. I don't think I've got any ice stalk. I don't think I've got any sea crown. I don't think I've got any... F 
This would have been really useful if I'd uh, been like... Oh, bulb bush! I can do bulb bush! But yeah, if, this would have been really useful if I'd been more uh, careful about like collecting samples earlier on in the game. No, no, Henrik, I've, I, I didn't even know that I was going to need enzymes. Okay, so, lady, thank you for your help. Uh, I guess I'll see you later. Is this the end of Act 2, then? Or is the end of Act 2 when you do the enzymes? That's cool. So, okay, so basically what I'm seeing is... So what I'm seeing is I need to I'll hatch the enzymes, so I need to go and find all those things and make some, uh, make some enzyme serum. Then I'm going to come back here. She's going to thank me by, like, healing me up. I'm guessing I'm still, it's, like, infected. Yeah, of course I am. Then when I'm not infected, I can go and turn off the gun. I can build the rest of the uh, rocket and uh, get out of here. Worth getting to the end of the chamber behind her. I honestly didn't realize I'd missed anything. She's not going to complain if I, like, jump on her head, is she? Doesn't seem like she's too bothered. Uh, I'm not seeing anything particular around here. Is there anything around here that I can collect in? You know, like... Uh, resources that I can harvest in here or something. Actually, I wonder if this place has a load of the stuff that I need. Violet bow, spotted dock leaf, papyrus. It's got acid mushrooms. I don't need them though. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Was that what I was coming here for, Pharaoh? Just that piece of dialogue. The crown seed. Was there a crown seed? I don't remember seeing a crown seed. But then I don't really know what they look like. I just don't remember seeing the name Cryon Seed. Jump up that stepped pillar. Oh, this one. Oh, I never even... I would never have found this. I would never have found this. Oh look, more iron cubes. Okay. Where does this one go? This is a completely different shape. Sea crown is just a plant that you need later. It's hard to come by normally. Good. I'm sure I will have tons of trouble. Oh, okay. That makes it easier getting out of here again then, I guess. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I'm going to need a way of getting out of here because heck if my prawn suit can do it. Go on, Pharaoh. What are your uh, two hints? Also, is there anything else I'm missing? Because I seem to recall... You suggested I would need four ion cubes. And so far, I think I've only used two here. But yeah, before I leave, let's uh, see this. The Sea Crown is the third rarest plant in the game. They are very hard to find. There's one somewhere in here. Let me take a look at what the sea crown is supposed to look like. Kind of a bluey white, possibly slightly glowy. I'm going to guess it's probably down one of these passages. Because why else would they be? Oh, snap. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That would be some. I'll 
take that, thank you. Might as well take a tiny bit more, I suppose. Oh yeah, no, that one that one would have taken me frickin' years. What have we got down here? Cave bush. Cave bush wasn't part of it, was it? Ghost weed, bulb bush. Rouge cradle. Interesting. Uh, I guess I could take some. Actually, to be honest, if I can. Oh no, this is an underwater plant. I can't grow it in my in my place. But I'll still take some all the same. Ooh. Oh no, Gabe's Feather. I've seen Gabe's Feather before. Cave Bush, Red Wart, Violet Bow, Sea Crown? Sea Crowns? Oh no, Sea Crown was the one we just did. You complete numbskull. Hint 2. The coral sample you need is actually from the giant mushroom trees in the mushroom forest. Oh, the fungal sample. Okay. So basically, next stream is just going to be one big fetch quest. Plus some crafting. Oh, and a, just an ion cube randomly floating around. Oh snap, what's that? J JX. It was it JX you said? I think it was JX. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. I really need to improve my setup so I don't have to turn around to see uh, follow alerts. No, no, it's cool. I got it, I got it, it's cool. So I'm guessing I'm probably not going to find anything else useful here. Uh, I possibly also am not going to find the exit to this place. Uh, oh, okay. It must be around here because these are these pipes. Okay. Fetch quest re... So, someone drop me a quick yes or no. Should I keep looking around here for extra stuff? Or should I just... Uh, go elsewhere for the rest of it? What's that? I think that's just a graphical glitch. Yes! No! Perfect! Well, exactly what I needed. Confusion. The heck is that? That almost looks like a low-res model that you're supposed to see from a way away and it hasn't popped in the high-res model yet. No! I almost need a vote on this one. But I think I'm mostly getting the opinion that, to be honest, I can go elsewhere for the rest of it. Abandoned ship, so to speak. For dues, if there is one thing in this game that I'm good at, it's abandoning ship. Possibly because I'm so good at breaking the Cyclops. But okay. So. I think we'll finish the stream off by dropping back to uh, our base again. You cannot start a mo on mobile. You, you cannot start a mobile on vote. That is exactly what I was trying to say. The Twitch mobile is kind of rubbish, i got to admit. Ooh, I almost fell back in. I very almost fell back in. Okay, so I probably want to go back out the way I came. After mining a few ion cubes, I suppose. Go on, I suppose. I'll take some more ion cubes. Because this way I get back to... The... 
uh, Cyclops, that's the word I'm looking for. Frickin' fricky lights. Every single time, every single time, those frickin' lights. Uh, I guess I can get some Kyanite if that guy's not going to attack me. Uh, I found a few of them. I don't know if I've got all of them. How many are there supposed to be? Uh, once I hang on, once I get past this uh, beastie, I will take a look to see how many I've got. Don't kill me. I'm no threat to you, I promise. I'm just a bit of a derp. There are three Degassi bases. I think, yeah, I think I've recovered them all. It's possible there may be like one I've missed. Uh, okay, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, should have gone this way I'm going to say three bases, nine voice logs let me just get to this platform over here and then I'll take a look Okay, so, logs. I'm going to have a whole ton of stuff to read. Uh, what was it? Degassi survivors. So I've got Bart Torgal's log 1, 2, and 3. I've got Degassi voice log 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8, 9. I've got Margar Marguerite Midas log. I've got Paul Torgal's log 1, 2, and 3. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that uh, the sea dragon I killed died of embarrassment rather than from me hurting it. I'm gonna only claim partial credit for killing it. I kind of wish I had killed the second because it would have made life easier for me. Okay, did I leave a power cell in? By mistake. We're about to find out. If I did... Okay, <laughs> that was one of those perfect opportunities where I can only have messed up. Either I left a power cell in by mistake to have more power leached by the uh, lava lava. Or I uh, didn't... To unload the cell, and I would have to uh, go and find the l get the long way in of getting the thing in. Raid message suggestion based on Fadu's idea. All hail Bug Lord Tark and his minions. Their buggy invasion has begun. I like it. I like it. But yeah, can I? I'm gonna see if I can get my uh, Cyclops back to base first. So first, I need to recover the other power cells. I might as well take the ones at 100% charge. Uh, I might as well drop off in storage some of this junk. Okay, and... The underground... So the exit marker I'm going for is kind of directly behind me. Engine. 
But yeah, hopefully now I should have finally killed off the sea dragon at the top of this shaft, so I shouldn't have to worry about getting past it. Although I guess I do still have the other one to kill. They're not the sea dragon, but there's another beastie of some sort. Bang! Prang! Bang! Clang! Ding! Scrape! Sorry, just wanted some useful... Yeah, don't worry, Pharaoh. You don't need to provide them. I'm perfectly capable of crashing into every single wall. Hey, Law, how you doing? Also... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that there's still something big out there. I wanted to go around the front so I can see what on earth it is. Is it a third freaking sea dragon? Yeah, how are you doing, Law? Good to see you again. Rig for silent running. Drop that down to minimum. And I'm getting ready to fire off another countermeasure if he comes. Okay, he's about to swim past me, so I might get a look at what he is. No, I'm not going to. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm getting confused between the sea... I... Oh, it's the ghost leviathan that's... Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm getting confused between the multiples, aren't I? There's so many different leviathans, and they all want to eat me. Okay, let's turn off the silent running now. I don't need it. It's already drained enough battery. Just reading some forgotten... Realms lore in pre... Oh, nice. I am suddenly very curious as to uh, what lore you're needing to uh, prep for. Also, cheers, Pharaoh. I'm not quite sure what uh, what that was, so I won't. But I won't read it. Just in case it's spoilerific or something like that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, our D and D session today. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's, that's, f it's cool. It's cool. I can only hope that I am. Oh, yeah, no, I think I'm going out the right way. Also, do I spy a new mod? You do spy a new mod. Pharaoh has, uh, willingly accepted the mod shield and is now my indentured servant for all eternity. He doesn't quite realise what he's let himself in for for at the moment, but he'll realise eventually. <laughs> that as well, that as well. Oh wow, this genuinely does deplete the energy power. I'm really looking forward to getting some ion in here now. If I had the ion power now, I would only be down to like, what, like 92% or something like that? What is it? Hang on. 34... Yeah, 93%. But yeah, how's everything with you, Law? What are you up to at the moment? Yesterday's uh, D&D yesterday's session that you did was uh, cool. It was really... I, I, I'm... I, I don't know, I'm kind of fumbling my words again for some reason, because today's running theme has been Tark can't actually talk. But uh, no, what I meant to say was, uh, yeah, it was, I think that may be the first session I've seen live with all three of them. And yeah, it's kind of really fun. Kester is really uh, playing up on the, you know, I don't give a hoot, I'm going to do my own thing though, isn't he? Slaps Ion Cubes, you can fit so much energy power in here. I mean, it's not quite the same as the... Uh, powering a full city that they promised me. I'm slightly disappointed that I'm not going to basically get an infinity power source. Out of interest, I take it that the uh, the ghost leviathan is can, is easier to kill than the sea dragon? Because I've got to admit, part of me is kind of tempted to uh, go drill him a question in the next stream. 
or the 500 kiloton of TNT channeled through the uh, QEP. He is, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say, to be honest. I, I, one of the big things I'm still struggling to get to, to, to like get a, a feel for with D and D is playing characters who are just completely different from me. All of my characters at least have a little part of me in them, in, and that kind of. And that's partly intentional, and part uh, partly like just because of how I want to do the character, and partly because it makes it so that it's easy for me to to to, to make choices with them. One thing I haven't got my head around yet, and I don't know how long it will take me to work up to. Why do I feel like the Neptune platform is sunk into the sea? Uh, is the concept of like playing a character? Who wants to do things that I would simply never ever do? Uh, but Kester is like the perfect example, so I need to like take notes or something from him. Oh yeah, no, no, I know. I, 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 playing, playing the character, I kind of get that. It's, it's, it's the willingness to, to actively choose to do something that goes against my better judgment as a player. That's the thing I struggle with right now. Okay, where is this hole in the ship? Right next to the array of... Uh, so, like, sensor stations that are just completely unconnected to the hull. Got it. But yes, okay. We are back in base. Actually, let's grab the... Uh, that's not the way to do it. Let's grab the prawn suit and also as much goodies as I can. But yeah, so once I've got the prawn suit back into base, that is going to be about where I uh, finish up for the day, I think. As always, it has been uh, a very interesting experience. Thank you guys for uh, dragging me through it, kicking and screaming. Let's grab all the silver ore, because I'm going to need a lot of that. I'll leave the Bulbo samples here for now. Might as well grab some more of this stuff. Yeah, that'll do for now. You stop playing before getting this thrown into the game. It is... It is... I've just... Yeah, I, I've just found it. It's just kept me going. As I, I've said this to a few people before, but like, uh, sometimes with these kind of games, after a while, I just run out of creative things to do and can't push on. But the storyline has kept me coming back. And in fairness, streaming it has helped as well. Having people around to uh, bounce ideas off and to laugh at me when I do stupid things has kept me wanting to uh, progress as well. But yeah, so I am back in base. I am probably not going to starve or uh, die of uh, thirst. It's <laughs> it is kind of. It is kind of. I uh, I wanted a, a fairly large base, cause just because I like the idea of expanding out. But let's uh, let's finish up in my personal quarters for the day. Enjoying the nice views and the really pumping bass, which you may well be able to hear reverberating around my room in real life. Look at that bass! Yeah, I mean, I, I would totally sleep in this room. There's those underground hotels, but, uh, and I'd love to give one of those underground hotels a shout. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the progress I've made today. I've probably made more progress today than any other stream I've done so far. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, dragging me through, as always. It has been a good laugh, but uh, it's time to wrap up, as always.
Targas has, Targas has been a progress machine. Zero faff here. But... Oops, sorry, I briefly... Con yeah, anyway, I completely confused myself by looking back at my PC and thinking I was streaming something that wasn't Subnautica there, but I don't know why that would have worked, because everyone would have commented on it, but anyway. Yeah, so... For those of you who, who yeah, blah, blah, I just cannot talk. I promise, usually, I actually manage to get words out in a cogent sentence. Hey, Doge. Well done for turning up right as I'm finishing. But yes, <clears throat> now I can't talk because apparently I can't swallow water either. <laughs> okay, this is the day when I'm just completely incapable and yet also progress the story. Can't drink, can't talk, can game. Any, but yes, so for those of you who are new, I stream Saturdays and Sundays at about 3, 3.15 UK time. Yes, Doge, unfortunately it's a buy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. Yeah, the, yeah, cheers, Fiduce. I, my, my, for some reason, my brain is not hooked up today. I promise I'm not usually this, like, completely ditzy. I'm about 70% ditzy, not this 100% ditzy that I am right now. But yeah, okay, so I stream Saturdays and Sundays at about 3pm UK time. I pl stick with one game and I play it through, so I'll be continuing this next week. And fingers crossed, it looks like we might even finish it next week. So uh, let's take a look, you know, let's see how it goes. Um, don't know whether it's going to get done on Saturday or Sunday, but it feels like we've got to be pretty close now. It's just a case of gathering some materials and crafting some stuff. Then again, I guess you could say... 99% of uh, Subnautica is crafting materials and finding resources. But, uh, yeah. So I will be back, and I hope I can see as many of you as possible then. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a really great week. And, tell you what. I am going to drop a raid on Moose and Tato. They dropped by my stream yesterday. They're good friends of mine who I've been... Oh, nope, apparently they may have just finished. I think they've literally just finished, either yeah, either they've finished their stream, yeah, they've just finished their stream and have uh, started to host uh, Tiny Shark. So um, maybe that's a hint that I should uh, host Tiny Shark instead. They did, apparently. I didn't realise that they knew her that well, but uh, yeah, let's, let's go to Kirsty instead. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Tiny Shark Plays is uh, a much, much better streamer than I will ever be. She is a very cool person. She actually plays with a camera on. Ah, oh, tiny someone, I don't know, Law. Just some nobody, I guess. Uh, but yeah, she is a lot of fun. She is currently playing through Hollow Knight and Resident Evil 4. It's Hollow Knight today. So I hope that you guys will all uh, drop in say hello to her and uh, stick around and watch some of her stream. Does someone have the raid message that we talked about using today? Pharaoh, I'm looking at you. Thank you very much. I knew that you had it. If you want to, please do drop this raid message or shout the old Tark raid or just shout whatever the heck you want. It's all good. I do. Yeah, I, I guarantee you don't have a clue who she is. Yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Cheers, Law. Thank you. Um, but yeah, let's let's all go and say hello to her. And um, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, just have a great week. And I hope I catch you again next week. So, bye bye. <laughs>